Welcome back, heroes, to some more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Last episode, we did a bunch of side quests, found the Sujimon League, and we've been uh, doing a few fights here and there. We then came to District 5. We found Jitose, who's now on the team, and we're at this uh, swanky hotel. We're going to try to find the boss of the Barracudas, and there's a... What's this? Ooh, a latte. Nice. So let's start making our way through, and we're going to fight some people on the way. Hey, yo. That's a good one. I think we're getting close to 16. Our rank's looking pretty good as well. And Chitose is actually really strong. Okay. Got a new weapon for us, so our uh, uh, normal attacks are all electric and no one's weak to it. So let's... <laughs> get really just pushing the little uh, bench. Alright, uh, let's try and get many of these into a line. Uh, two's fine. Oh, wait, you're weak to fire. Uh, yeah, let's hit you. Oh, man. I was hoping to like, knock you back into the other dude, but oh, I'm a little bit late. Right, uh, what should we do, what should we do? I think I'll go the Essence Dagger and I'll try and line this up. Oh, I've got the bleed. Okay, so they might get taken out when it's their turn. And the fire guys are usually weak to water, yeah. So let's do this. Let's see, I love my team at the moment. All elemental attacks are actually banging. Oh, he's so weak. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to attack him because next turn the bleed should finish him off as long as the bleed stays on. Okay, Alright, let's uh, go for you. Can we switch you around? No, we can't. Let's go for an attack. How about you sit down, boy? Yeah! <laughs> cool. Alright, you'll die next turn from bleed. You're weak to this, so we'll go for this. Allow me. We can finish you off. Go on. Nice! And then you'll bleed, or just attack you, because it's our turn, why not? <laughs> okay, so 40 bucks. Yeah, we're getting very close to 16 with Kazuguro and uh, Kiryu. I think I'm getting better at this. Right, so where do we want to go? There's two ways to... Can we go, like, through here? Ooh. Let's see, maybe we can find something, and we got a safe key. Nice. I've got many safe keys, but I'm not finding too many safes. There's an elevator just past here. We can take that up to the 15th floor. Okay. We're right behind you, Chi-chan. Hey, do you really not have any doubts? About what? Everything I'm telling you. Who knows? Maybe I'm following the boss's orders and leading you right into a trap. That ever cross your mind? I told you he was keeping me in his room, remember? I mean, think about it. I ripped you off once already. For all you know, the elevator's packed with a bunch of dudes with machine guns or something. Well, we'll go from there then. I'm sure it'll work out. What? I'm serious. I made the decision to trust you after all. If that bites me in the ass, so what? What's up, Chi-chan? Sorry, I made a wrong turn. Huh? This whole area kind of runs together, so I made a mistake. We need to go this way. Hurry! Uh, right! Okay, that was a little sus. I feel like maybe she was going to lead us into a trap, but then changed her mind? I was kind of hoping it would be like some enemies in there, but like the Captain America elevator scene. We get in there and it's like bam, bam, bam. Hey, it's just a dead end. Don't tell me you're lost. So you think, right? Now get a load of this. Whoa! The secret passage. Between this and all those lasers underground, the Barracudas must really want to keep people out. You have to if you want to survive in Hawaii's underworld. In we go. I gotta say, I don't care about being like super rich, but I would love a house one day that has like a secret like bookcase entrance like that. I'm so sick. Where would it lead? I don't know. 
but it's just it's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, let's fight you guys. Bring it on. Also, if you missed last episode as well, like, Roman got killed, man. Okay, I mean, kind of deserved, he was kind of a bad dude, but oh, still wasn't really expecting it just to, to go the way it did. <laughs> Went to a room where they were, like, making clothes, and then one was there, and the guy was like, yeah, I don't want to, you know, stain the merchandise, and then BAM! Just machete right into Roman's gut. And then, whoop, swiped up. It was, it was brutal. Well, you're weak to fire, alright, it's good for you. Nice. All right. Uh, I think All we right. could probably take out another one if we go for a scrub down. Got you now. Good news is after this, we uh, grow a level. Got it, sir. Go. Oh, he's so weak. Sure, I'll... I mean, at least it's not hitting Kiryu. It's just out of the out of the way of that. Oh, oh, There's so much damage. Right, uh, we will, ooh, hit you next, to knock him into you, nice! I'm going to quickly attack and finish you all off. Good news is Kazuga and Kiryu should grow a level, and we're now be level 16. Oh, Kazuga didn't grow a level, but Kiryu did. Learning more every day. Because he's got that little bonus experience, which is great. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, this looks kind of cool. Oh, they're trying to gas us. Guess they're not messing around anymore. Ooh, Kazuga. We can't stay in here for long. I get you. Roger. Let's make this quick. Bring it on. We've been poisoned. It. Okay. You've been standing still wearing me out. Right. Right. Let's quickly knock you. Weak to electric. Nice. I've got the MP, so I'm gonna. Go for a uh, mega swing real quick, so we can probably take all three of these out. Oh man, I missed that one, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go for the flamethrower, dude, because I do not like these dudes out. Oh, nice! I don't know what you're weak to. Probably electric. Oh damn! There's no way. Yeah, nice. Well, that was kind of easy. <laughs> and Kazuga grew a level. Sweet. Well, that HP and MP's back. Let's pick everything we can real quick. So we're still poisoned. And uh, out the way. Don't want to stay in there too long. Oh, we've got ankle weights. Can we put this on to Chitose? We can. Greatly increases experience from battle and greatly reduces MP. I mean, that's fine for Chitose. Nice looking gym, honestly. Ooh. Man, we're losing so much HP. It's gonna be quick. Right, go for the um, mega swing, 100%. I'm just not feeling it. Keep you all together, quick, 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 before you all split up. Quick. Open one. Not bad, man. Not bad. Sorry to drag my feet. All right, uh, let's try and line that up. I don't think I've got you. Well, you're burnt, so just attack you. Just get you gone. This part's actually pretty tough because the burn really does a lot of damage, and you take poison damage outside of battle as well. Come on, uh. Come on, finish him up, finish him up. Nice. Alright, pretty quick. I'm even stronger now. Just gotta get out of here. Safe key. Uh. Grab it. Uh okay, got some insoles. Uh is this any good? So this puts your speed up. Uh I think we're I think we're fine at the moment. Looks like the gas hasn't made it this far. Oh, thank God, there's a heal in place. I was die. Fine, man. There you go. So this boss has got to be next, surely, right? Let's save the game. And then we've got a safe as well. We'll definitely open this. We've got plenty of safe keys. It? We've got 10. <laughs> got it. All right. Uh, running cap. Is this any good? Ooh, defense up. Yes. Absolutely. 
Should we put on the helmet? Is that better? Yeah, helmet's better. There you go. Okay, let's go through the elevator. This elevator should take us up to the Barracuda's boss. Do we go now or maybe get a quick break first? Now, I think we're good. Take the elevator. I'm ready. Okay, top floor. Here we come. This is the door to the boss's suite. There's a good chance he'll be inside. And he calls the shots, huh? Must be a real this looks man. mega fancy. Let's make sure we're good and ready before we head in. This, this definitely screams like boss end of corridor, you know? <laughs> So cool. Pretty nice, huh? A perfect view of paradise. What's funny is until last century. This place was nothing but a taro field, far as the eye could see. Agriculture was about the only industry keeping this island afloat. Then the white man came along and saw an opportunity. They crushed the fields, brought in sand by the boatload from sunny California. And what was it all for? Some fancy-ass resort built for some fancy-ass sons of bitches. That paradise you see, it's all smoke and mirrors, from sea to shiny sea. Yeah, what's your point? It ain't obvious. <laughs> I'm saying a fake can hold more value than even the genuine article. Ichiba Kasuka. High time you met the head of the Barracudas. Name's Dwight. Nice to know I've made a name for myself out here. I actually hold quite a bit of respect for the Japanese people. About a hundred years ago, a number of your people immigrated to my country. They helped plow our farmlands and our country proper. How about that? Nonetheless, I'm surprised you made it this far. That being said, it's not you I'm surprised with now. The real surprise is your spunky little friend. You got guts betraying me like that. Sorry, Ichiban. You know how I told you I escaped after they found me looking through the boss's study? That was a lie. The truth is, I actually got caught. And just in time, Katsuka. It was right as you barged in. So I gave Chitose here a choice. She could die then and there, or she could do me a favor. A favor? Remember what I said? About how I might be leading you guys into danger or a trap or something. That... I am... Um, I meant it. What? She did. And it seems our deal fell through. She led you away from my trap. And as a result, you ended up here. Face to face, with yours truly. I see. That was at that elevator. All right. She said she made a wrong turn. I may as well ask. Chitose, why a change of heart? <sighs> Kasuga seemed like the better choice. Not much more complicated than that. I mean, have you seen how dumb this guy is? Huh? I've never met someone so sincere in my entire life. I had no way of knowing whether you'd keep me alive, even if I did follow your orders. Kasuga, however, is a different story. I don't think he's even smart enough to cheat someone. Gee, how nice. Really? Tell me this. Do you know what happens to those who betray me? <laughs> who gives? Dios mío, who would have thought? A Fujinomiya would be such a troublemaker. You must cause your parents a lot of headaches. How did you know? Did you expect me not to? The Barracudas have businesses with people all over the world. We would be remiss not to keep tabs on those in power. Besides, it was obvious from the start. The moment I first saw you, I knew 
You were just another spoiled brat. I figured I could use you, so I kept you around. <laughs> I could kill Kasika and the others anytime, but I drew you in for one simple reason. Their death would have been on you, and few things are so obedient as a guilty conscience. So it goes, I suppose. Don't worry, I won't kill you. No. <laughs> I'll make you my bargaining chip and bleed your family like a stuck pig. You bastard! Appreciate the kind words, Chichan. Here you go again, Ichiban. You sure you're not mad? What for? I made the choice to trust you, remember? <sighs> you really are an idiot, you know that? All right, enough chit chat. Hey, 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 hang on. I still got unfinished business. Dwight, remember the robbery that happened on October 7th, 2012? The target was Connie Tanaka, CEO of a well-known real estate company. On her way to visit a business partner, her car was attacked, and a bag of money was stolen. And what's that to you? I'm the one they took in for it, even though they had next to no evidence. Oh. You were the fall guy. <laughs> you saved me a lot of trouble. So you admit it? You sicked Roman on me. Had him pin your crimes on me. <laughs> hey, who can say? Dwight, there's something I want to ask too. You were looking for a woman named Akane, right? Be straight with me. You guys have already found her, haven't you? Only thing I'll do for you is offer you a way out. In fact, it's the quickest way I know. Cut to pieces and stuffed in a body bag. You know what this baby is? A machete. One of the most useful tools there is. It makes short work of the jungle, not to mention animals. And here in Hawaii, it's perfect for gutting fish. Bring it on! I think it's time I showed you what this blade of mine can do! Ready to bleed? That was badass. Okay. Yeah, I'm 99 percent sure. Dwight, Dwight's voice actor is um, Danny Trejo. Pretty sure. Sounds like him. All right, uh, I'm gonna go for a mega swing, and I can just hit all three of you guys. Not bad, not bad. All right, uh, let's go for a scrub down. Oh, you're weak to water as well. How about you have a bath, Dwight? It's now weak to electric, sweet. Uh, I think I will go... This and maybe take out at least one of them. Oh, oh, that did 82 damage. Ooh. It's fine. All right. Uh, we need to grapple. Get your guard broken. Good damage. Nice. Ouch. That's hard to dodge. Oh god. Uh, I'm gonna knock you in to you. Maybe I can take you out in the background. Oh, he's weak. But he's burnt, so he might get taken out. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a normal attack on you. I know you resist, but yeah, I said surely should be enough damage anyway. I'm, I'm fairly certain you'll get taken out by the burn, so I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm just gonna go for a normal attack. Ready when you 
death glare. Oh. Fear. I'm not sure what fear does. I guess we just miss our turn. Oh man, the burn wasn't enough. Okay, I'm gonna get a turn if I'm uh, feared. The burn ended on him. Maybe it might end on the other dude, so I probably should just take the other dude out. Just in case. Look this hot hotel room though. It's so nice. Look at the size of that TV over there. That TV, right? Massive. Sick, man. I love these boss battles when you get like a little like uh, scene with that. It's so sick. Because these boss battles in this game are actually really cool. It's making me think like, are the other like Yakuza boss battles like as intense as this? Uh, I'm gonna go for Hero's Wisdom. Try to get these free up. Because he's, 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 he's got his guard break up, so we might as well put our crit rate up while we uh, yeah, wait for a grapple. So then we get a grapple. Did it break his guard? I didn't break his guard. I think it's a. I went for the grapple attack, but. Because of the uh, the chair got in the way. But this is also a grapple, <laughs> so. Does it break your guard? Right, weak to electric, we'll just. Bang! Good damage. Death bring a sound. Oh, oh my god! God's a god, so much damage. I better make this uh, I better heal. Brace yourself! Safety first! That's wrong! Okay, I miss Kira you, but it's fine. You wanna stop, man? I can do this! Something wrong? Alright, let's go another scrub down because that does a lot of damage. Follow my lead. Cure you next. No, stop attacking Kazuga. <laughs> this is so close. Alright, let's finish him off. He's with the fire. That's it. Oh, that was a tough battle, man. Nice, level 16, sweet. Think I'm getting stronger. Doing better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? Yes, I'm a fast learner. Is Akane-san here or not? All right, all right. I'll be straight with you. We were looking for her, but she never showed up. If you don't believe me, feel free to search the whole floor. What do the Barracudas want with her? Honestly, I don't know. You're looking for her and don't even know why? It's not up to us. We got a request to look for her. We're just doing what we were asked. Request? Request from who? I don't know that either. They reached out to us anonymously. Sent it directly to my address. Seriously, info like that doesn't leak easily. And they sent a million dollars down payment. If we succeed, we would have another nine million coming our way. That's 10 million just to find some woman. <laughs> sure, it was shady, but who would pass on that? Damn it. You don't know anything else? About Akane-san? About who the hell's chasing after her? If I knew any more, I would have told you already. Ain't that something? That's the most real thing you've said all day.
I assume that about does it for all your Akane-san business, Kasuga? Yeah. Great. Then I guess it's my turn. You give me a yes or a no. That crime I got locked up for. Was that you? Both the setup and bringing in a fall guy? It was your call? Answer me! Okay, okay! Yes, damn it! All right. So it was you. Do you have any idea how bad you fucked me over? And not just me! Wait, wait, stop, stop, wait, wait. Roman might be gone, but I can still wipe your criminal record easy. Just say the word. And I got money. A million. No, 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 ten million dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, that'll give you a clean slate. And then some. You'll be set for life. Like hell I will! You think money's ever gonna bring my kid back? You think money's ever gonna bring you back? Just know, if you ever go back on your word, I'll put this thing right between your eyes. Oh yeah. And this lovely little number here goes viral. That's my promise. <sighs> Well, I think that about wraps things up. Let's roll. You good now, Tomizawa? Honestly, I'd love to see him fry. But that'd mean sinking to his level. Plus, it's not like taking him out, it spelled the end of the Barracudas. We don't know who might leak info about Chitose, right? Better to leave him alive keep everyone else in line. But why do this for me? Because, believe it or not, you saved my life too. <sighs> I may not get why, but you still betrayed Dwight and led us right to him on top of it. We wouldn't be here without you. So, how about we call it even? Uh, between you and Ichiban, I had enough debt as it was. I figured I'd strike one off the list. <laughs> when the hell do you get so cool, Tommy? <laughs> I've always been cool, smartass. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that was badass. I was not expecting Tommy Zhao to be that cool. Honestly, he's growing on me. Every single time we see more of him, it's like, yep, he gets up and up and up there. Let's save the game, then we can, I guess, start the next chapter here. Yeah, chapter 5, Suspicious Minds. Ooh, okay. Huh. Pretty cool how we ended up here after going through a dump like District 5. How can you be so chill? We nearly got chopped up by the Barracuda's boss with next to nothing to show for it. Only one who got any business done was me. Yeah, but ain't that worth it? A win for you is a win for the team. Speaking of... 
Our team just grew by one. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you got a funny definition of teamwork. Oh, is that how it's gonna be? I helped you in the end, didn't I? Yeah, and because of that, we're still breathing. You did us a solid there. My pleasure. It's nice to meet someone so open-minded. I'd say Tommy here has his work cut out for him. Damn it, Ichiban. You'll pal around with just about anyone, won't you? She did risk her life to save ours, even if it didn't start out that way. Besides, we want to find Akane-san. We'll need all the help we can get. Sounds like you're in my corner, then. Sure you won't ditch me the moment you find her? <laughs> I should hope not. Personally, I don't mind a loose cannon, as long as they're on my side. I suppose I should take that as a compliment. Ah, fine. I guess if anyone's guilty of anything, it's me. <laughs> I even held a gun at Ichiban at one point. <laughs> See? Even backstabbers like us can come around. Yeah, that said, it still doesn't mean I have to trust you. Or like you. Uh, why not? I like you, Tomy. Yeah, sure. You gotta be hiding something. And I'm gonna find out what. I can smell a secret from a mile away. Oh, come on. A girl's gotta have at least one good secret. Or two. Here, oh, why don't we just start over? Okay, but I'll be watching. One slip up, and it's over. Watch me all you want. It looks like mine. I'm used to it. Ooh, she got you good. How do you like that burn, Tommy? Yeah, 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 screw you. <laughs> Guess that settles it. Chichan, you're one of the gang. Good to have you. Good to be here. Don't tell me I'm supposed to make a speech now. <clears throat> the name's Chitose Fujinomiya. There. Kasuga-san. Okay, so hey, that reminds me. You can have this back. Sorry about before. <gasps> Our money! Ooh. Thanks. Oh, wow, I nearly forgot about all of that. Thanks, Chi-chan. Nah, it's nothing you got to thank me for. Honestly, you're way too nice, Ichiban. Okay, we'd achieve all we set out to do. Be good to get a, a, a new plan going. Sure. And how about we go over everything we know so uh -huh. far? Alright, but instead of standing around here, why don't we go somewhere we can relax a bit? That's probably for the best. In that case, how about Revolve? Now second that, we can lay low there, and we won't have to worry about anyone listening. Huh? Revolve? Yeah, it's a bar over in Little Japan. We more or less uh, use it as our hideout. I'm sure you're uh, like it too, Chi-chan. <laughs> Okay then, sounds like we got our destination. Roger that, we're off to Revolve. All right, so we're doing a little side quest on the way as well. Uh, right. So where is Revolve? Let's just uh, mark that here. So I can just, uh, yeah, kind of run on the way and we've got some little hot hearts of the side quest on the way we can do, yeah, cool. Uh, I don't really want to fight you guys. If we go this way. Ooh. I want to go back to the shrine at some point as well, because we picked up a lot of the, um, hey, the do you use coconut oil? stuff. <laughs> yeah, I forget what it's called. Oh, well, that shop Fortunes. There, there you go. The best stuff. Thanks, your... Uh, is this the right way? Yes. I want to go up this way to get more, um, give it a try bonding while moments. You're still here. It's like magic. Hmm? Not sure an old guy like me needs to worry about silky smooth skin at this point. No way. Taking care of yourself is always important. A well-kept man is attractive. No kid. Hmm. Just having softer skin would be I don't want to get into a fight just yep. while these, Better um, going soft in the head. like, hard heart really moments are going up. on. Because it will stop it, I think. And speaking of, like, Ichiban being an old man, I'm still surprised that, like, uh, He's in his 40s. Oh, so this is my first uh, Yakuza game, so I don't know much. I, was, I thought he was, like... I'd say Would you call 30? yourself a music lover? Tommy? Maybe. I mean, who doesn't like music? I'm Mostly gonna I'm fight these guys in a second. Wow, it's gonna wait for this end. If it's just like, oh, all right. Through, there you go. Get this. 
We always want to fight a king. If we can fight the king, that is. 17, okay, it's not too bad. Ooh, okay, okay, chill. Right, let's hit you into you. Allow me. I want to go for the mega swing. Yeah, right here. Oh man, I shouldn't have left a little bit. I could have taken out all three of them. Can I not knock you in? Ah, there you go. No, oh man. Okay, that did not go as well as I was hoping it would go. Okay, getting more uh, more people to fight. That's fine. More people to fight be more experienced at the end, right? So, honestly, don't mind that. Let's try and knock you into you. Nice. Oh. Dude, that's so much damage. You've got to be a little bit careful. Right, I'm going to do another Mega Swing. Because I think I can... that hit all three? I think I just missed the one at the back, but it's fine. And if we go switch this style, we can at least hit you, take you out. And then I can go for... let's go for you, so knock you into you. And we'll go... Uh, are you not weak to anything? Got you now. Guess not. I'll just go for a nice little uh, scrub down. Got it, it's like Tommy Zawa's moves are just like <laughs> the weirdest. More backup. Stop. Okay, I got pretty Time focused on up. taking you out a little bit then. I'm going to keep pulling back up. Although, like, if we do get more experience for each enemy, like, he backs up, then... Honestly, not bad. Fire, we just, yeah, knock you down a little bit. Coconut chop, oh no. I hate that move, that's so much damage. Try as much damage to the, uh, the boss as possible. I was not thinking this, like, enemy would be this tough. I don't know that the king one's obviously stronger, but... I just assumed because it's red we could do it. I mean, we obviously are going to do it, but not easily. Oh, he's calling more. Okay, and I just need to focus in. Here we go. No holding style. Let's get it done. It's getting there. Looks like I'm up. Got you now. Nice, stay down. Okay, I'm up. Oh, he's so weak. I can block the third attack, it's just the last one I cannot. Well, it's the first two I can't stop. Nice, there you go. And now we focus on these two dudes. Oh, and he, they can call back up as well? That's honestly annoying. Be careful with these dancers. If I go for the tire, I think I can probably just about hit the other guy. Oh, I'm just going to miss that. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. I mean, he's burnt, though, so he should just die. There we go, and then we just hopefully finish you off. There we go. Man, that was long. Oh, my God. We got 2,990 experience. That was, that was worth it, I think, in the end, right? That was tough, but... Man, that was worth it. Hmm? It's iron fragments, nice. Uh, how tough's the Sujimon battle? <laughs> Level 5, yeah, we'll go for it. You guys Do side stuff on the way. Let's go, team! <laughs> what did I just miss all? Game faces, everybody! Uh, right. I think... I think we want to go. I choose you. Watch do this. I think that's super effective against them too. Nice. Let's go again. Cause I should, should take out the side ones. Yeah. 
Nice. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna shove me. That's super effective against their yeah, number. If I swap you with you. Oh, I went for the wrong one, but it's fine. Because now I can go numbers attack. Do you have a special? We're just warming up. Come on, give me right. Nice. That was awesome. Well, that was easy. Getting pretty good at Sujimon battles, I think. Nice, gain all them levels. Oh. Woo! I got a new Sujimon. You're the worst, I had no chance against you. No, you didn't. I think the DLC like stuff I got really does help. Alright, so if we just uh, stick on this road here, we should end up at a side quest we can do. Oh. Uh, congrats, Kazuga. It looks like you've reached rank 10. With that, you can challenge Jack of Discreet 4. Jack holds himself up the high-end hotel west of Alolo Street. Good luck. Ooh, okay. Challenge one of the Discreet 4 now. Should I uh, head over to that hotel he's at? Okay, will do. Where is this hotel though? Uh, it's at a Lola Street, right? That's a raid. Um, I. What is the swimsuit change room as well? I. Oh wait, Jack's hideout's there. So it's right near us, and there's another side quest over here we can do, so we'll go do these. And then we'll go uh, do the main stuff. What's, uh, what's blue? I think blue enemies are like really weak, aren't they? We'll avoid the blue enemies, because there's no point fighting them. Absolutely smash them. We'll do the side quest first, see what it's all about. Alright, uh, what are we doing? What's up, Ichiban? Huh? Wait a sec. So, you want me to beat this guy down? Sure. Whatever. As long as I get to fight. You were with those punks back in Yokohama. Trying to get a rise out of me on camera. What was your name again? Asakura. The primetime MMA maestro. You telling me you've never seen my channel? Practically always trending. Oh, that does ring a bell. Asakura. I remember now. So, why's a busy guy like you out in Hawaii? On vacation? As if. No, I came out here for you. Me? Okay, what for? Remember what we said? How next time's the real deal? Except there wasn't a next time after you vanished. And let me tell you, tracking you down's been a pain in the ass. Hold on. You're telling me you flew halfway across the ocean for a rematch? Ding, ding, ding. Ever since we threw down that day, I've been itching for another round. I want to go all out. No distractions, no holding back, no holds barred. It'll drive my viewers wild for sure. Ain't that reason enough for you? Now, are you gonna face me or what? You're persistent, gotta give you credit for that. Guessing you won't take no for an answer? Of course not. Now shut up and fight me, Ichiban! Bam, Trevor, all that way for a fight. Let's do nice. Also, oh, 1v1 as well, okay. Let's get it done. Got a little bit careful, so in that case, I'll go. Uh. Hero's Wisdom. It's level 12, so it should be easy. Right, no damage. It's gonna be so easy. Ouch, it's fine, it's fine. Bam! 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 I'm gonna get to go again. I'm gonna go for a nice uh, Batbreaker. 
Easy. Sit down, man. So what? 900 experience. That's not bad. 100 bucks cash. Nice. Of course you'll be tougher than last time. There, you satisfied now? Satisfied my ass. When we first fought, I noticed something. Those other punks you were with, they were nowhere near your level, man. Unlike them, you actually know how to put up a fight. Yeah, I guess I do. If you know that already, then why keep wasting your time? What? Wasting my time? Yeah, going around picking fights for the camera. Is that all you want out of life? Or do you think hitting random people makes you strong? There's a lot more to it than that. Well, yeah, but... Maybe you haven't noticed, but it's what you protect that makes you strong. Whether it's your dream or the people around you. As for you, sure, you throw a mean punch. But if the only thing moving your fist is anger, you'll stay right where you are. Hey. So, I'll ask you again. You satisfied where you're at? Nah, not really. Actually, I've been feeling pretty strong. Uh, last time I even put, put effort into a fight was, I don't know, then after beating, uh, getting beat by you twice, gotta say, I'm pretty pissed. But at the same time, I'm pumped. You are? Huh. Yeah. All I want to do now is get stronger. Focus on my training, then hit you up for a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> you better stick with it then. Even a punk with dedication is going to have a hard time taking me down. And I can see that. So I'm going back to the essentials. Uh, no more BSing around or wasting my time. Like you said, starting today, the weak Asakura you knew is no more. When you see me again, I'll be doing things legit. That way, I can take pride in what I do. Oh. Uh, right. Uh -huh. Now give me another round and I'll show you how serious I am. Maybe I've just been a uh, punk this whole time. But I'll come back as the MMA maestro I said I was. And give you a match worth fighting. Good. And it's a deal. I'm sure we can both learn a thing or two from that match. Until then, don't let up. See ya. <laughs> no doubt, Ichiban Kazuka. Honestly, Ichiban's actually pretty, um... Uh, wiseful. Wiseful? Full of wisdom. Yeah. Wise, yeah, wise, yeah, wise, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that new thing though. So I guess that'll be like a reoccurring side quest we can do later on. Uh, so we want to go up here. So according to uh, Morikasa, this is Jack's home turf. The CEO of Suji. Yes. That makes sense. Jack's the, their newest member. Heard he's some filthy rich day trader who bought his way up the Suji ladder. He used all the money to poach rare and powerful Sujimon from around the world. That's what's got him in, in, in with the four. Well, we're just screwed then. I'm not fit to go up against some super buff Sujimon from Scandinavia or whatever, but you're not going to worry about that because you're not my team. <laughs> Nonsense. If Jack paid for a Sujimon, then there's no way he's developed bonds of friendship with them. <laughs> not like our ragtag crew. Right, Sensei? Uh, not that I got the DLC. <laughs> bonds, uh, yeah, that's right. Friendship is what matters in Sujimon battling. Not strength and ability. Mm. Uh -huh. hmm. So, come on. Let's show this guy you can't pay to win with some OP Sujimon. Real Sujimon battle for the love we have for our trainer. So, remember, if we lose, it's all Kazuka faults <laughs> for not getting us to love him enough. All right, all right, geez. Now let's go. We'll take out the discreet four, starting with Jack, and then we'll go to Suji Land. I really hope he's joking about Suji Land. Anyway, I guess we'll head inside when we're ready. You know what? I think I'm ready. <laughs> this game, man. This game is too good. Hmm. Kind of figured Jack's gym would look more like a gym. Hi. Oh well. What do we have here? Are you Jack? That's right. Oh yes, but do address me by my full title. Jack, CEO, and member of the Discreet Four, obviously. You, I recognize you. You were with Professor Morikasa earlier. Uh-huh. Yep, guilty as charged. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, and I'm here to take you down, Jackie boy. Oh no, not you. The other one, him. Okay. Yeah. I'm Ichiban Kazuka, and Morisaka asked me to take down King and become a Sujimon Master. I kind of, I kind of forgot why, but whatever. To do that, I guess I've got to get through the discrete four, right? So, um, I challenge you. That cool? Mm. Oh, it's very cool. Only sadly, I'm quite the busy bee. So I haven't got the time to take on just anyone. You both. Come, come. <laughs> there are two of my most precious underlings. Get through them first and we'll see if you're worthy of my time. Men, this is Professor Mori uh, Kasa's a new protege. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. Understood, sir. It's my job to make uh, Mr. Jack's life easier. Sending you packing now is just another day's work. Let's do this, Kazuka-san. 
Sure, I guess we have to. There goes nothing. I mean, the level seven, but I think we're just like pretty strong, so it's, it's fine. Time for a suit, you Gang faces, everybody. Um. So light, we want to go for. I choose you. And then we'll go for this. Good damage. Oh, I get to go again. Oh, I can take out the uh, two on the left. Sick. Oh, this is good. This is good. You're finished. Ooh, that does a bit of damage, but we're fine. We get two attacks again, so I might be able to take the middle one out because it's super effective. Then let's go again. Nice. Oh no, he's still alive, so like 1 HP. Oh, we're gonna go again. Got yeah. one dude left. He's gonna get his attack, but it's fine. You ain't gonna do nothing. Edge trimmer, oof. One more attack. Done. Are we gonna take on both the dudes or just the one to take on the uh good old Jackie boy? And levels are definitely gonna help. Damn it, forgive me, sir. Shameful display. This is why you always be middle management. As ever, it falls to the corporate overlord to clean up the messes of the dregs. Let me show you uh, how an executive battles. Okay, guess he's next. Uh yeah, gotta take on these two first then. All right, let's go for it. You guys ready for this? Assume battle position. Oh, this dude's got five. All right, boys. Time. Gang faces, everybody. Hmm. I think if I swap you with you, I choose you. And just attack in the middle, the super effectiveness on the uh, the sides. Oh, I get to go again. Can I take all three out? There's no way. I can. Oh, it's a boss. So I can just like keep attacking with her. Game Let's find a little bit of damage. Oh, I did a lot. But I think we're fast enough where I can take out everyone. And we go again. Oh, are you just live? Are you kidding me? You're going to get yeah, You're going to the middle. Probably take me out. No, we live. Sick. So, uh, just finish you off here, I guess. Yeah, one more. Don't need the special attacks, man. I can just keep attacking normally. We're so fast that we do enough. Oh, okay. I take it back. Just living, I see. Time to shake things up. Give me some tiger. <laughs> Easy, man. Give me them levels, please. You win. We got over 2,000 bucks now as well. So we got Ichiban's rank can't grow up unless we, um, I think, beat Jack. But I don't understand. How could you have beaten me? Yeah, quite easily. Add both of Jack's underlings down. Now I can challenge the man himself. All right, let's go for it. Hey. Well, Jack, I beat your stooges. Gonna accept my challenge now, like you said? Hmm, I'm a man of my word. My three ex-wives, notwithstanding. <sighs> Still, I'm experiencing this strange sensation. Seeing you defeat my men, it's almost like shame. Sir, it's all our worthless Sujimon's fault. Mm, stop your whimpering before I use you and your Sujimon to fuel my next private spacecraft. Sir, now it's your Kazuga, was it? Let's end this quickly. You must know I've invested a considerable amount of money into my Sujimon collection. You and your, um, allies, as it were. You can truly expect to stand up to me. Can you? Don't you see what a mistake you're making? Hell no, I don't. You know, I could take or leave a lot of this, uh, Sujimon Master stuff. But humbling a rich asshole? But I'm always down for that. People like you see the whole world as assets in your portfolio. You'll never understand the camaraderie of a team working together. <laughs> this is darling. 
How did you know I have such a thinly veiled fetish for breaking the will of uh, upty port paws? Uh, that's why the Suji League is the ultimate rich man sport. The endless naive urchins to humiliate. You don't want to know what I do as I rewatch the battle footage. Oh Excuse god, me? <laughs> this guy's such a creep. Screw this uh, hoity toity jerk. Let's kick his ass, Kazuka san. Right on. That's so weird, man. Okay, average level 9, so a little bit under leveled, but uh, we should be fine. Martin Lopi. Time to earn your key. Oh, he's got some strong looking Sujimon, though. It's on. Right, so first thing we do is our claws, lady. I don't know your name. Uh, Sionhi. Put you in the middle, and then we'll attack. Good damage. We get to go first again. Oh, there's no way. So yeah, you got pretty close. Switching out already. That's an oh my god, that's so much. Right, I should get a few attacks off here though at least. Nice. Another attack, and then I should be able to take out. You nice. If I get another attack, that'll be ah oh, so good. The trainer's reconsidering yeah, the lineup. I think you're gonna die here, but it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, if we just attack, we take out two of them at least. And super effective damage on the one on the right. Uh, swap you with you. Oh no, I didn't mean to go for Tiger Rush. That's my bad. I meant to go for uh, ah, the middle attack. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh man, it takes me out. It's fine. Big bear. Uh, probably should swap you with Hold you, and then we goodness. attack. Back to the drawing board, huh? So I can take out the one on the right, I think. That's fine. Next attack, we win. Might be level ten, but. My Sujis are so much stronger. I have the power of friendship on my side. <laughs> Woo! How much money do I get? I'm not going to get too much. 50 bucks. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, that's our win. Woo! We did it, Kazuka san. Kick my, uh, kiss my ass, money bags, with your fancy toupee in your bank account. Unbelievable. This is America. The poor don't overthrow the rich. You're supposed to worship me. <laughs> well, consider this a lesson in economics, fat cat. Back in the day, I had my own dojo. Then the pro property value went up, so I sold it. Then I burnt through all the cash except for some, which I donated to a weird cult. And here I am. <laughs> so as you see, I may be poor now, but at one point I was a little less poor. Mm. It all goes to show. Um, Kazuka son, what was I trying to say? How the hell should I know? <laughs> you know, we rich always laugh about you poor idiots on the golf course and in our uh, secret underground death casinos, but I never knew just how stupid you really are. Stop whining, Jack. <clears throat> huh? No. Get king. An ace and queen. Even Joker. What are you doing here? I don't like that title, man, but we heard Mori Castle's new favorite issued you a challenge. Obviously, we came to cheer you on. <sighs> However, lo and behold, it seems you've been defeated. You were never tr uh, never worthy of the discreet four. Soon, the uh, the rabble will think us all weak and tardy as you. Who are these guys? The rest of the discreet four. Uh, Joker, Queen, and Ace. They're all incredibly strong. Shut up, I'm not defeated. I underestimated him, that's all. King, you you believe in me, don't you? I'm too important to the uh, four to fail. You'll bail me out, right? You have no. to. I'm afraid the uh, committee's already uh, rendered its decision. You're of no further use to them. Ah, you can't do this. I'm one of you. I'm an elite. I'm sorry, Jack. The committee I must never be questioned. <sighs> the damn it all. You, trainer. What's your name? Ichibon Kazuka. I see. I'll remember that. <laughs> so, you are this Kazuka fellow whose name we've uh, heard of, whispered of late. You'll find our gym along the beach. We shall await your arrival. Unlike this testosterone uh, dampened sanctum of avarice, ours is a, a lovely chamber, an ode to the female form in all its glory. Oh, do not keep us waiting over long. <laughs> hmm, I'll be there. I'll catch the next cab. <laughs> well, I'll run. 
Hmm, King, huh? So can we just like take on the, the discreet four right away? Or do I have to like rank up some more? I feel like I have to rank up more. <laughs> Kazuka-san, look at us. We're winners. For once in your and my pathetic lives, we're winners. Taking down Jack in such a short amount of time is no joke. We've got something special going. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, yeah. Just keep in mind that Queen's strength is supposedly magnitudes higher than Mac and Jack's. If we don't put in the work, we're going to lose. Don't be such a downer, uh, Kura Kuraki. A uh, positive state of mind, okay. Even if we lose, just crawl back up and try again. Right, Sensei? Oh, my queen. Bet your butt I'd crawl my way to her. All the better for her to step on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sensei, are you listening? What? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Our bonds of friendship are what's important. <laughs> We're doomed. Anyway, uh, queen, uh, queen may have given us the invite, but the Suji League rules mandate we r must reach a certain rank before we, re we challenge her. She's got to get to rank 20. The showcase of immorals. Ooh, okay. Sounds cool. We made a huge step forward today. We've still got a long way to go before we present ourselves to the queen. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget that sort of cheese that Sujimon himself. Oh well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us with this queen. Nice. God, these side quests are so funny. <laughs> Look, the Suji Mansa job. However, you'll need to progress the story before you can use it. Exclusive job for Kazuka, which allows him to summon his Sujimon into actual combat. Oh, as a Suji Mansa, use the equipment menu to set your preferred Sujimon. You can use one Sujimon of each type. Remember, the stronger your Sujimon, the stronger your skills will be. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of sick. I probably won't use that job class. I I've in any like RPG. I've never been a fan of like um, summoner classes. I don't mind using summons, but like not as an actual class. Just never really been for me. Ooh. Hello, friend. Hey, yo. Alright, uh, so we keep following this down the road. Do the side quest on the way and then we'll do the main quest. Which is, yeah, we'll do this, we'll grab that, grab that, and then we'll go beat a revolve. Sound good? Well, you don't have a choice, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, where is this side quest? Gotta be getting kind of close. Don't fight me. Also, now we've got a lot of money, I might start looking into potentially buying some new gear. I'll wait till like, kind of gets recommended all. Oh. Uh, Ichiban Kasuga, I've been at training and I'm stronger than ever. Wanna fight you again to Oh, okay, already? Meet with the warehouse behind the docks when you got time. Okay. Yeah, when I'm ready, I'll go do that. I don't know where the docks are. For now, I wanna do this side quest, which is here. Give me the biggest shave ice you got, please. Oh, of course, right away. Oh, which flavor you like, sir? No, no flavor. Just give me the ice. Um, all right. Just a moment. Ah, uh, here you go, sir. Uh, large shave ice, no flavoring. Oh, okay, much obliged. with this guy is he all right hey mister you uh overheating or something wouldn't want to catch a cold huh who are you if you got a better idea tell me otherwise shove up sorry damn it i ain't got time for this crap maybe if the ice were more powdery it turned to snow i gotta try did he say snow? Okay then. <laughs> what is that about? Right, uh, I don't know where that guy even went. So I'm gonna, yeah, make our way. Let's we'll do the main quest a little bit. Try to find that perfect balance of doing like side quest. Oh, got some experience stuff there. Uh, side quest and main story stuff. Like, don't get, don't get me wrong, I love doing side quests, but sometimes, like, you do too many side quests, it's just, ugh, it gets a little bit tedious. And sometimes, like, the main story is always so compelling, so you just want to go do that a little bit. 
So I tried to find like a, a perfect mixture, mixture of both. You know? Oh, uh, I mean, let's keep following the path actually. Yeah. Almost up to where I want to get to. We can just do. Oh, wait. Isn't the shrine also nearby here? I thought the shrine's got it. Was it? No, it was by um, the hotel. I think. Let's revolve. I honestly can't remember that shrine. I'm pretty sure it's by Kiryu's hotel. Alright, so it's gonna get a. Yep. Just gonna do We're next. Really Don't fight up. these guys in just case I fight them. Ooh. What are you it's fine, it's fine. What are you at? Was there another one nearby? Yeah, there's two over here, so I'm gonna quickly go get these. Just real quick. I'm feeling good. We go in here, then we just do this. Alright. Oh, if we can get that one. Likes there, that blue one. Get the bingo! I'll go to revolve in a second, just gonna go grab this. A little bit further up. Don't wanna fight, don't wanna fight. Don't wanna fight, just wanna grab it. There we go. We're really opening up. Alright, we're good. So let's uh, go into revolve and we can uh, discuss the new plan. You're looking at everything we know about Akane-san. It took an entire organization to gather this. But all it really amounts to is a birth date and an address. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. Kiryu-san, I thought that agency was all 007, like with spies and stuff. Shouldn't they be able to write the entire books on someone? Yeah, what gives? Could be she's harder to track as a member of the general public. Whereas if she kept a higher profile, there'd be no shortage of news coming in. Ah, good point. Chitose, it can be the tiniest detail. But if you know anything that's not on here, we need to know too. Actually, one thing does come to mind. Oh yeah? What is it? None of this says anything about her career. Her career? Yeah. Kane-san's the director of an orphanage. She's been there, like, forever. No kidding. Well, Captain Sawashiro never mentioned anything like that. Maybe he didn't know either. I haven't been to the place in person, but I do know where it is, if you're interested. You bet I'm interested. That orphanage might have the clues we need. Agreed. Let's head over there. Still, it's a bit early to hit the hay. Uh, could wander around a bit. Hmm? Tell me he's drinking all by himself. We haven't really had much time to chit uh, to chat since we teamed up. Maybe we should go talk to him. Okay, let's get some bonding moments. Hey yo. Yo, tell me. Mind if I join you? I was just hoping for a drinking partner. Yeah, then I'm your man. Whoa. Some days it really hits the spot. You much of a drinker, usually? Kinda. Except when I came to Hawaii. I got so wasted my clothes were stolen. Hard to claim I can hold my liquor after that. <laughs> oh yeah. Why? What about you? I've cut back lately. A while ago, I was going way too hard. Yeah, trying to forget. Oh, forget about Marie, you mean? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, but, you know, hey, time heals all wounds is what they always say. Even being stripped bare-assed in public. You know, you'll laugh about it in a few years. <laughs> I've been through worse, honestly. But we won't get into how the family used to treat me. Like, family family? My boss's son was especially rough. He once got everyone calling me 
Ichi bad, Kasuga. <laughs> <laughs> Veteran of hard knocks, I see. The Barracudas ruin way more lives than just mine and Marie's, you know? I mean, that frame job scam was old hat by the time they got me. It's just... Hard to imagine anyone else took it at their happiest moment. You know, like I did. Girl, I loved was having my kid. I would have given anything for one more day with her. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. Eh, don't be an idiot. I'm always thinking about it anyway. So, the night that Marie and I first met? Oh, you want to talk about this? Do you mind? It's been a long time since I told this story. Let me get through it. Well, I'm happy to listen, I guess, if, if you're okay. Oh, I can't believe it was over a decade ago. Ugh, means I've been cabbing that long, too. Back then, I'd spend my nights at clubs, picking up girls, which, of course, went nowhere, usually. Usually? <laughs> that, that word's doing some heavy lifting. <laughs> Do you want to hear my story or not? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> sorry. One night, I hit on this girl. With a boyfriend. I wouldn't normally do that, but I was dead drunk. And the boyfriend like, is this massive pro wrestler looking lifter. And he dragged me through an alley and he kicked the shit out of me so bad I thought I might actually die. That's the worst pickup story ever. Does Marie really show up in it? Stop interrupting, I'll get there. So I'm lying in the alley. Hurling out my guts. And then this woman finds me and cleans me up. Marie happened to be there that night with one of her co-workers. And we'd never seen one another before. But there she was, caring for a total stranger, staining in her nice clothes with my blood. Wow, well, that's something special. Yeah, probably the worst night of my life before she made it the best. Sure as hell, I made a move on her. I mean, how could I let someone like that slip away? Oh, right. You know, it's funny. You know, I say it's the best night of my life. But down the road, it's what ends up ruining hers. Wow, oh, Tommy. When we found out she was pregnant, she quit her job. Six months later, I was in prison. All because a scumbag like me couldn't let her go. She could have had so much better. You can't say for sure her life was ruined, can you? I guess not. I'd love to know she's okay, but I'll never be able to find out. Why not? Can't you look her up? <sighs> hey, Tommy, do you ever think about trying to locate her? You said she would visit you, right? In the beginning, at least? Of course I tried looking for her. First thing I did, and no luck. When I got back to our home, Everything of hers was gone. Not a trace left behind. Don't follow me. Doesn't get much clearer. <sighs> I left this amazing woman to suffer all on her own. She'd lost a child. Whatever the circumstances might have been. You can't go on with someone after that. You know what? I'm a pretty bad judge of character. Huh? Why, why, why you say that? <laughs> the first time we met, you pulled a gun on me, remember? And if you asked me then, I'd have said you were nothing more than a petty crook. But now, listening to you, I think everybody's carrying something you can't see right away. Everybody out there. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about sticking you up. Did I ever apologize to you for that? It doesn't matter anymore. No. Some things do matter. Huh? I am sorry for the way we met, Ichiban. Well, you're forgiven. If you buy the next round. Let bygones be. I just don't rob anybody else either. Huh. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, so raising your bond with your friends will eventually trigger drink links. With these heart-to-hearts, your allies can unlock powerful abilities such as tag team skills and combo attacks, which I really want to try, like, unlock and use. So Tommy Zara's bond with the team has enhanced his skills. Now use a tag team cross slugger. Nice. So after forming a bond with your friends, you'll be able to tag team with them. Tag team skills are powerful combo attacks that can be performed without spending MP 
Once a hype meter is filled, press R2, R2 to initiate a tag team skill. Surely, like, Kiryu's got to have that unlocked as well now, because I swear his bond with him is, like, the highest. So nice to mellow out of a drink once in a hey. while. Hey, what are you doing tonight? It's getting late and you look pretty drunk, so maybe sleep it up, sleep it off upstairs, yeah? You don't mind? Not at all. Like I said, you're free to make yourself at home. Thanks. Thanks, ho you one. Can we bond with Kiryu? I guess not. <laughs> Do some karaoke. <laughs> Alright, let's go rest up for the night. And we can head to the orphanage. Uh, should definitely just recover. And let's uh, let's rest. Got a busy day tomorrow. Yes, we do. All right, let's head out to the orphanage. Hopefully, we'll get some info on Akane-san. Alright, so where is this orphanage as well? Orphanage is... Oh, whoa, that is quite far. Who's this? Here out... Uh, little bug. So I guess these um, blue ones are like... I let it snow, because that's part of the uh, side quest before. So I guess... Um, there was another side quest there. I guess like the blue ones are like continuation of side quests we've already started. So I'm gonna go around this way. We'll do that new side quest. Continue with the let it snow guy. Let it snow. Let it snow. <laughs> uh, and then we, um, yeah, we'll make our way towards the orphanage. Do some side quests on the way as well. It's nice to see all these like enemies. Too weak for us, man. Too weak for us. Right, so what are we doing here? You're running late already. Come on over here. Huh? I know you're short on experience. Don't sweat it. Just bring that same friendly face you had in the interview. You're even more amiable in person. <laughs> I can tell. It's great to have you on board, Palakiko. Hey, hang on a second. You confused or something? I'm not Paula... whoever. Huh? No, we spoke online. Me and you. Kazu Palakiko, right? I hate to break it to you. My name's Kasuga. But... Where is he then? He's already an hour and 20 minutes late. What the? Hasn't it dawned on you that he's not coming? No, Palakiko wouldn't do that to me. We had a real connection in our interview. Your online interview, you mean? Sorry, but it sounds like you got sucker. No, 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 no. Even through our computer screen, I could tell he was a good guy. He had such compassionate eyes. Like yours. You've got the same kind of handsome face. Uh, oh, uh, that's sweet of you. Ah, Kasuga, you probably right. He's not coming. But then I can't open a restaurant, and I'm fully booked today. But, uh, haven't you got any part-timers you could call in? Ah, this place has always been a one-man operation. I've kept a handle on things so far by limiting our tables. Not really practical. So, Paula Kiko was gonna help you finally start serving a full house? Yes, you understand? Paula Kiko. Oh god, do you think he was in an accident? That would explain everything. I get that you don't want to believe he ditched you, but if you got no backup, you need to start turning folks away. Where am I gonna find backup? A waiter needs exactly the right kind of face. He needs eyebrows like curious caterpillars. A nose stout enough to withstand a knockout punch. Eyes gray like fog, slinking over alleyway trash bags. Hmm. Wait a moment. Why didn't I see it sooner? Palakiko's dead ringer right in front of me. And just imagine how you'll fill out the uniform. Forgive me. It'll just be for today, I swear. You help me, won't you, Kasuga, my friend? Sorry, but I've got zero skill in food service. Nonsense. It'll be fine. After all, you only need to take orders and carry plates. Kasuga, your arrival here is practically fate. I'll pay you, of course, and you can even eat here. What do you say? 
Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Now, you mentioned you have no experience, didn't you? Yeah. Got no idea how this is supposed to work. Okay. Allow me to go over the basics with you. This way, please. Okay, so waiting tables. This is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. But we get some more money out of it, so I can't complain. <laughs> Honestly, yellow kind of suits us. Oh, I knew you'd fill out the uniform. Look like you've uh, worn it a hundred times before. Now, welcome to Tropical. <laughs> Come on, you're embarrassing me with all this. I've just realized I never introduced myself. My name is Obispo. Ob Obispo? I don't know. You call me Obi. Okay, Obi for short. Got it. Nice to meet you, Obi. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, first things first, greeting our guests. Always be considerate of the customers. If they're speaking softly to one another, you must not go. Aloha! Welcome to Tropical, you beautiful SOB! Uh, that would be quite startling, yes? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Enthusiasm is good, but too much is overwhelming. Match the mood of the guests. Are they uh, cheery or are they refined? Yeah. Right on. Great. Next, let's go over the most popular dishes of the uh -huh. our menu. Are you familiar with Hawaiian cuisine, Kazuga? Can't say that I am, really. Sorry. Yeah. That's no problem. Take a look with me. Oh. If I had to choose any food to eat... Uh, I guess maybe the bottom left depends what... Is that like meat? Moko Moko, okay. Next that is the boar's name's chest. We blend fruit into a smoothie and add honey for... Oh, no thanks. The upper right is the lao lao. That's meat or fish wrapped between two leaves of lao. I could probably eat that bit of meat. I don't like fish. Lao lao uses pork and potato wrapped in taro leaves. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I love that. Bottom left, uh, Loco Moco. That is a popular dish in Japan too, isn't it? Juicy hamburger patty fried... Oh, no, I'm going for that. Yeah, that sounds great. Served on rice and topped with our house gravy. That's our best seller. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm not, I'm not surprised that's the best seller. That's what I would buy. <laughs> the standard dessert made from coconut milk. It melts in your mouth. Finally, the bottom right, uh, the premium fish in Hawaii. We grill it uh, fresh to a slight char, then top it with our special olive oil. It's simple, but perfect. <sighs> okay, so upper left to right, it's... I pokey akai bo lao lao from the bottom left, lokomoku pia and mahi mahi. It's a lot. Might seem confusing at first, but I'm sure with passion like yours, Kasuga, you're ever down in no time. <laughs> well, I probably don't, but remember, don't sweat the small stuff. Everybody makes mistakes, except for natural born waiters like you. You'll do perfectly, I know it. Oh, great. I uh, appreciate oh. your faith. Ah, uh, it's time to open. Are you ready, Kasuga? I guess I've got no choice. Totally. Yeah. I've already forgotten the menu, but let's do this indeed. For the first time ever, every table in Tropical is open for business. I'll be in the kitchen, Kazuka. You work your magic. <laughs> I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Hey! Chum, baby, it smells divine in here. Okay, she seems energetic, so my greeting should be like... Just a tone. Uh... I think friendly's... Yeah, friend friendly's good, right? You know it! Welcome to Tropical! I was maybe a bit too much. Whew. Are you new here? I love your vibe. You. Okay, good. Thanks. Well, that was good. Alright, nailed the greeting. Hmm. I wonder what the next customer will be like. Oh, that's refined. 100%. Well, hello there. Chum, dear me, I'm utterly famished. So classy. I'm going like... About there. Greetings, sir. Thank you for dining at Tropical. No, am I? What a smart lad. Are you new to this, uh, this establishment? Somewhat. I'm just helping out for today, sir. Is that so? Ah, what a waste of talent. You, my friend, know how to make a man feel at home. Thank you. Well, I appreciate the compliment. Hey, not bad. Guess my time at Hello Work is still paying off. It feels like so long ago at like Hello Work, but uh, all the tables are filling up. They got a family next. So I'm starving. Mm. Hungary! Hello, waiter! We shall go. Uh... Let's go max for the kids. Get ready for a feast! Welcome to Tropical! Yeah! <laughs> You're the loudest wit I've ever met! Super funny! <laughs> oh, nice! I got you, kid. Alright, okay. Most of the tables are filled, now things get yeah. tough. 
Cusco, uh, well done the seat in the table or seat in the guests and serving drinks so far. <sighs> oh, sure. Dealing with different kinds of customers can be tricky. I hope I can take the orders without a problem. Excuse me, I'm ready to order. <clears throat> Sir, waiter, over here, yes. please. Okay, be right with you. <laughs> You've got this. Take down the orders and bring them back to me. All right. Uh, so you went first. I'm thinking I pokey and how pia for dessert. Uh, two, okay. Actually, wait, more. Go on off the deep end. Three. Bring them all out on the entree, yes. okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Lao Lao. Pork and potato, sir. Pork, you say? Ah, oh, no, that won't do. I ne never sup on swine. Have the mahi mahi. Yes. Okay. And one. Uh, a kai bowl and a lao lao. Sure thing. No, make it lao lao and papai. Okay, oh man. Maybe the loco moco. Okay, uh, sounds good. Then again, so does the mahi mahi. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with my first. Oh, yes. dude, come on, you suck. Do I remember it all? Oh, God, I think I'm going to just go for it. Right. Here we go. Orders from three tables here. Read them out to me, would you? A cheerful customer ordered uh, it was free yeah it's this the elegant one ordered do you want the mahi mahi that was easy the customer in the black ordered uh, I believe it was this yeah all right I think I got that right actually I think I'm pretty sure that's all correct Order yes. up, ready to go. Uh, Kamacha, Ahi, Pokey, and Triple Pius. Is that right? Uh, similarly, Obi is sim uh, simply a miracle worker, isn't he? Enjoy, I think that was right. She didn't say anything. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Okay, and next up. You definitely want the Mahi Mahi. My word, it smells delectable. Screw to a perfect char and top with our special olive oil, you see? Ah, yes, that is precisely what I'm getting from it. Marvelous, thank you so very much. Please enjoy. It's two for two. <laughs> All right. And last one, I think this is right as well. Oh, please say this is what you ordered. Because he changes mind so much. Mmm, looks great. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, sick. <sighs> Ooh, it's damn tough trying to remember all those orders. Yeah. Kazuka, I need a free hand. Could you run that loud loud to the table with the family, please? Okay. Right, uh, Lao Lao is... Uh, is the dish on the left? Because it gets wrapped up, doesn't it? Thank you for your patience. All I'm getting at this moment is I should be a professional waiter. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, you ordered the Locomoco? Just wait. Oh, okay. Locomoco, you ordered. <laughs> okay, nice. Never let it be said that Ichiban Kasuka doesn't know his Lao Lao. Kasuka next order up. Take the uh, Kalawa pig over to the family table, yes? Oh, no, this one I don't know. Uh, leave the Mahi Mahi and Ahi Poki there for now. It's gonna be the middle one, because the Mahi Mahi's the one we're left. I think it's this. I mean that yeah, it looks Yeah. That looks that looks right. Thank you for your patience. Here's your Kalawa pig. That one's mine. It looks so tasty. Mm, smells good too. Thank you very much, Mr. Waiter. Of course, enjoy. If I get everything perfect, I should get a great reward for this cycle, uh, surely. Yeah. Great job, Kazuko. You made it through full service. Oh, nice. I always thought Hawaiian food was pretty close to Japan's. Shows what I know. <laughs> hmm. You can see how uh, some of it might have been strange to you. Uh, excuse uh -huh. me. Uh oh. I think they're ordering some more. Kazuko, can you go and see? Yes. Right away. Hello again. Was there anything else you needed? Actually, I'd like to speak to the mm. owner. Uh, of course. Is there a problem? Please, if you don't mind. Oh. And what's their name, by the way? 
You know his name? Um, it's Obispo. It's Obispo. Yes. Did you call me Kazuka? What can I do for you? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a culinary reporter, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. That was the best loco moco ever. Huh? Oh, why? Thank you. I'm so flattered. If you're up for it, I'd love to feature your restaurant in my magazine. Oh, get out of town! Tropical's never had any media coverage before. But let's change that, shall we? You know, I've wanted to come here for some time, but you were always at capacity. <laughs> well, that's all thanks to my new waiter and friend that we were able to uh, accommodate you. I can tell that he's exceptional waitstaff. He was on a round of all through service, trying to keep everyone happy. You found yourself some great Thank help. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's just a part-time gig for me, though. So, what do you think? Uh, chef, care for an interview? Yeah. Absolutely. Here's my card. I'll come and see you again soon. Hey, thank you so much. Kazuka, you're my lucky charm, my angel. Don't know how to thank you. No, oh, Obi, I didn't do anything. It was all your cooking. Oh, don't get modest on me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Ooh, employee mail. That's actually not bad. Increases your job rank by chef. Okay, $300. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> your service was perfect, Kazuka. I was, uh, it was like you'd been doing it for years. This bonus is the least I could offer. <laughs> if you say so, you know how to reward hard work, sir. Yeah, man, that side quest was definitely worth it. Kasuga, you just might have saved my business. I'm so grateful. You come back for a bento whenever you want, got it? I mean that. Oh, good deal. Well then, I suppose I'll have to find full-time help now. He's hoping they're as good as you. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there. People with experience, even. No, 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 no. Haven't I proven it to you by now, you handsome rogue? Kasuga, the face makes the server. He might have bailed on me, but Palakiko had that face too. I knew it the moment I saw him. How good could he be if he bailed? Oh, but Kasuga, you proved how skilled he would have been. You two are dead ringers for one another. You share that trustworthy visage. Obi-san, you really believe in my face that much, huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh, I'm late. I know. I was supposed to start work here today. The name's Kazu Palakiko. What? <coughs> I don't look anything like this guy. <laughs> That's another side quest done. Oh man. Our oh, passion's almost level 4. Sick. Oh no, it's level 4 now. Hey, let's go, BB. Alright, so let's do the uh, Let It Snow quest. Which is here. There you are. Do you not listen to me? I said just ice. No damn syrup of fruit. What? Look, old man. I've heard from other shops how you're going around buying ice and covering your face in it or whatever. I take pride in what I sell, so I'm not going to let you get your jollies off of my product. If you need to cool down, take a swim, or if you're uh, angling for some weird lawsuit against us, you should just give up. What the hell are you talking about, jollies? I'm being serious here, please. Next customer. Damn, no man's got himself uh, blackballed from every uh, every shave ice place around here. Guess that's no surprise. I have to admit, I'm curious what the guy's goal is. Let's talk to him. Yo. Hey, old man. Mm -hmm. hmm? Oh, you again. Come to laugh at me now that I can't keep chucking ice into the sky like uh, the damn fool I am? I wouldn't do that. I'm just curious what you were trying to accomplish. You seem pretty serious about it. You mentioned turning the ice into snow, right? Y yeah. Uh, ain't like I was trying to quench my first on straight ice. It's for my wife to show her some freshly fallen mm -hmm. snow. In Hawaii? You'd have better odds uh, taking a trip to, I don't know, Alaska or somewhere. Don't you think we uh, would have, would have, we, don't you think we would have if we could have? Uh, my wife's sick, ain't much able to get out of bed anymore. She could go at any time, so I've been asking for something, anything I could do for her. Most of the time, she's not all there when we uh, talk, but I damn well heard her say, I want to see the snow with you again. We have some good memories in the snow. <laughs> Went to Japan on our honeymoon, you know? That was the first time we saw the stuff. We both felt like we'd been uh, whisked away to another world. Always promised uh, her we'd go again someday, but, well, you know how life can be. Hard to take time off work for something as silly as snow. Never much made money, so I've always uh, worked doubly hard for my family. All this time, I'm not sure how she felt about that. Now it's too late to ask. All I know is she's always been there for me without a word of compliment. Funny, 
It was only after I'd uh, retired and could start making plans again that we realized how sick she was. Oh. We missed the early warning signs. It, it was too late by then. I'm so sorry. She gave me everything she had to uh, had to give in this life and I can't provide her this one damn thing in return. And to think, I was excited when she uh, first said she wanted to see the snow again. Figured it'd be easy and I could make her happy. For all I know, she'd be uh, too out of it to even realize, but maybe I just need to feel like I did something for her. I was thinking maybe I could have some airlifted in from another country, but that's just no time. So all you could think of was shave ice. You were trying to see if it maybe fall down like snow? I get it. Hell, I might have tried something just as crazy in your shoes. But in this heat, there's no way I'd ever build up without uh, melting. And now I can't even buy more if I wanted to. What do I do? I can't end like this, can it? We can find a way. Got it. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. Hey, I appreciate you telling me your story. But uh, now there's no way I can just uh, wish you luck and head off. We're in this together. Leave it to me. Let me try to think of something. You should go home and be with your wife. I, uh, I'm not sure what to Thank say. Thank you. Thank you. Doubt many would care so much for an old man chucking ice onto himself. Name's Orlando. You? Ichiban Kasuga. I'm from Japan, oh. actually. No kidding. Japan, huh? Maybe this is fate. Hmm. Of course. Can't exactly say I've uh, got any great ideas off the bat. Give me a little time, if you can. I will. For now, it's just nice to know that someone from the country that meant so much to my wife and me is willing to help. You got it. I'll get in touch if I can find any leads. See you soon. Hmm. See ya. Maybe we can find like an ice machine or a snow machine. Snow, huh? Jeez, how are we going to pull that off? Alright, when we find out how to do it, we'll definitely continue that side quest. Right, so let's uh, make our way there. What was this quest? This was... Brace your wild side. Soft. Oh, this is the guy we met at um, the Anaconda Mall uh, last episode. We spoke to him for the little side quest. Oh, just gonna get out of the way of this. Don't want to fight you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any outfits at the moment. Like, I want to save my money. Just maybe do some upgrades, make some weapons or something. We'll see what we can do. Let's go down here. Yeah, that's the way. We've got a side quest we can do. Oh. Matt, can I please get your autograph? Mm -hmm. Huh? <coughs> sure. Thank you. Well, that's snort. Thank you for your support. Oh my god, it's Matt Tropica. Tropico. Uh, can I get an autograph too? Me too. Yes. Yeah, of course. I'll get around to everyone, so please, no pushing or shoving. That's the guy who's playing the ukulele a while ago. Dang, a whole autograph session out of nowhere? Guess he's actually super popular. <laughs> but despite all the fussing, he stays humble. I think I get why everyone likes him so much. Hey, over there. Isn't that uh, the potato dude? Huh? Yeah, it is. Hey, where's the spuds? Did it taste good with the grass? Say something, Tada Tard. <laughs> what are those kids going on about potatoes? Uh, ch should I go over? No, I guess that's it. Okay. All right. All right. So this, nice. All right. Uh, so let's go down. We got this one. I think I'll just travel here. Uh, yeah. Pay the fees. Only ten bucks. I can do the side quest. Hey, Chichan. Yeah. What kind of person is Akane-san, anyway? <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, you know. No matter what I feel about her, Akane-san meant the world to my boss. And when it comes to him, well, he was everything I ever wanted to be. So. I guess I'm just curious what he saw in her. Okay. And we'd better find Akane-san quick. That way you can get your first impression directly. The last thing I want to do is put thoughts in your head. Is that how it works? That's how it works. Must be nice, though. What is? Wanting to see your mom, despite not knowing how to feel. That's more than I could ever say about mine. Let alone my whole family. 
that right? Oh, hey, I think we're here. Ah, oh, check it out. It's the flame of Palikana. Palikana? Yeah, you know, yeah, they're a volunteer group. You'll see them all over Hawaii. Doing soup kitchens, picking up trash at the beach. It's real charity stuff. Huh. Never knew you'd be interested in volunteering. Oh, I would know. Because I showed up at their food bank one time. Really? Yeah. They gather unsold food from all the local stores, and they divvy it out to the people who need it the most. Tell me, you help feed the poor? I'm impressed. Nah, man. I was there getting fed. Ah, I should have known. Excuse me, can I help you folks with anything? Oh, uh, yes, actually. Uh, we're here to ask about a lady named Akane. Uh, is she all right? Did you find her? Sorry for the outburst there. I had assumed you were with the police. No need to apologize, ma'am. If anything, I'm sorry I got your hopes up. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dana, one of the caretakers. I've been working with Akane 20 years now. That's a long time. Yes. And for her to disappear so suddenly, it's just... Unheard of, right? When'd she up and disappear? As of now, uh, it's been 13 days. All she left was a single note behind, and that was it. 13 days. That lines up with what Chichan said. Yeah. Dana, what'd the note say? I resign due to unforeseen circumstances. Nothing more. Hakane's always been so responsible. I immediately thought that couldn't be right. But the handwriting was definitely hers. Did you report anything to the police? Of course. But after the handwriting analysis confirmed the note was hers, they dropped the case. We couldn't get them to look into it any further. I'm sure you've been asked this a bunch of times already. But do you have any idea where she might have gone? Unfortunately, I don't. All right. Miss Dana, you won't believe it! Yeah, the tomatoes we planted turned out huge! Oh, wow! I see that. Why don't you share some with our guests? Okay! okay. Huh. Here you go. Wow, thanks! It looks delicious! We grow them in the garden ourselves. Huh. Um, who are they? Oh, uh, they're friends of Miss Akane's. Really? Does that mean Miss Akane's coming back? Oh, sweetie, that's still gonna take some time. Oh, how long? I really want to see her again. I wish I could give you an answer. Hey, I know. Why don't you go fetch a watermelon, too? Find the biggest one you can. On it! <laughs> They really care about her, don't they? Yes. Akane was the closest thing to a mother these kids ever had. In fact, she may have raised over a hundred kids during her time as director. That's why people often tell her she has the biggest family on the island. Well, that's a lot of love there. Oh, yes. She's been here 40 years, after all. 40 years? That would mean she started working here not long after leaving Japan. Right. Which is around when Captain Sawashiro met her. Did she choose to stay in Hawaii for the kids? Dana, how much do you know about Akane-san's past? Uh, her past? Well, nothing. She wasn't one to talk about herself. <laughs> hmm. 
Did she ever have problems with people, or seem like she was in trouble? I certainly can't imagine her having enemies. No one abided by the teachings more than she did. The teachings? The beliefs Palekana holds sacred. You may not know this, but fundamentally we operate as a religion. Really? I always thought Palekana was a charity organization. Charity is a key part of what we do, but our roots as a religion trace back hundreds of years on these islands. Whoa, so you guys got a lot of history then. I'd like to think so. Palekana centers its worship on Nele, a volcano goddess. Hmm, volcanoes, huh? That's definitely something Hawaii is known for. Indeed. Volcanic activity has also shaped the fabric of our lives, especially in ages past. On one hand, volcanoes are a symbol of fear and destruction. But on the other, they represent balance and restoration. I think it's only natural to see a spark of the divine in such an awe-inspiring presence. Right. That's similar to Japan's early volcano worship, too. I guess it's universal. Seeing something awesome in nature and being inspired. Yes. And that's why we strive to coexist with nature. So that Nele might look down on us with peace. Were we to abuse her gifts, of fire and the land we call home, we would surely invite destruction. I'm assuming that's why Palekana has the flame logo going on? That's right. Fire is a very sacred element among us. As a reminder of our faith, we always keep a fire lit, taking care not to let it burn out. Now that you mention it, I remember Akane-san had an LED candle in her bedroom. Was that a part of her faith? <laughs> I'm sure she was just being careful for a woman of her age living alone. Besides, the candle itself is only a representation. What really matters is how you tend the fire in your heart. A sacred element, huh? I is that why the kids took it slow around the candles? So you noticed. They're taught to protect the flame from when they're little. Oh. Huh. Actually, I was wondering. Why do you guys run an orphanage? That's based on another belief of ours. As a religion grounded in nature, we feel called to treat the land and those who live in it with compassion. Doing so will help the community grow and bring our hearts closer as one. And helping kids grow is a part of that. I'm impressed. We also run several other facilities, including a homeless shelter and transitional housing for families. You know, the one time I went to a Palacana food bank, it, it was real nice. Yeah, they just fed me without any preaching at all. <laughs> well, we're not in the business of preaching. So, you have for nothing in return. <laughs> Kudos to whoever's in charge. The children here seem like believers, though. Well, it's not like we indoctrinate them. We hope that by exemplifying the teachings in our daily lives, the children might see our faith in action and believe. And in that regard, Akane was unmatched. Everyone admired her for her spirit. Huh. So she was a woman of faith. Yes. And there wasn't a selfish bone in her body. All she wanted was to help the weak and less fortunate. That's what drew so many to her. And why I have a hard time believing she had enemies. And for her to just leave without a word of goodbye is just bizarre <sighs> dang <sighs> guess they don't know much more than we do all right dana we've grabbed all we can so i'm gonna haul this over to the food bank hey thanks Callan. any chance we can throw in some meat or fish to go with it I wish, but I don't see any fishermen or butchers around here. Think we're good to go with what we got? Well, I guess this'll just have to do then. Mind if I ask what's going on? Oh, well, today it's our turn to donate to the food bank. We always have plenty of vegetables, but I'd prefer to offer a full range of nutrition. Akane was always the one to call up stores, and they'd bring us more than enough. 
But since she went missing, the donations stopped coming in. To be honest, I think they just liked interacting with Akane. When it's us, we don't know how or even who to ask. It's like starting from scratch. I get it. Then why don't we lend you a hand? Oh, yeah? Why not? We'll go across the island and back if we have to. Uh, that's quite sudden. Well, it's not like I want to volunteer out of nowhere. I just thought we could help people and maybe learn about Akane-san in the process. Oh. I mean, that could work. Tracing her daily routines might lead to something new. Then why not give it a shot? I don't see any other options right now. So long as we don't stir up any trouble while we're at it. Of course not. We're gonna give it all we got and then some. <laughs> well, you're quite the energetic one. I suppose I should take you up on your offer. Callan, would you mind taking them over to the food bank? Ah, not at all. Okay, the rules are very simple. You go and collect food, then bring it back right here. But the most important rule of all? It can't be just anything you find on the shelves. It has to be made in Hawaii. So, only Hawaiian-grown foods? Palekana stresses the importance of Aloha Aina, a love for the land and its people. Even when it comes to donations, the idea is local production for local consumption. So whether it's fish or meat, make sure they're native to Hawaii, okay? You got it. Then let's get down to work. Hmm. Okay, so let's start looking for some food. So how are we uh, supposed to collect the food? This one food bank I saw on the news, they got a bunch of leftovers from local stores. Ah, no kidding. But are any of them going to be willing to donate to a bunch of strangers? <laughs> uh, no worries there. My buddy's dad runs a fruit stand. A fruit stand? Must have all kinds of tropical stuff then, huh? Yeah, and he knows me, so I think he might even let us have some of his unsold merchandise. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. So where's this place at? Local market at Harbour Park. Leave it to me. Then let's go. And Kira's like, oh, as long as we get into trouble doing this, you know, oh yeah, we're gonna so get into some like fights. So we need to go all the way over here. Uh anything cool on the way? Uh let me quickly go and do this little side questy bit here. You know, Hawaii uses soy sauce way more than I expected. I always figured soy sauce wasn't big overseas. Pleasant surprise. Might just be a Hawaiian guys. thing. Japanese immigrants brought it over. Ah, uh, never knew that. Uh, but then it tastes. Oh, oh man, that's the uh, the cafe uh, comedian dude. What's going on? Isn't that uh, May Mo? Is it May Mioka's cafe coffee shop? Yeah, what's going on, man? So we know you're in there, Ex uh, espresso son. Come give us a little comment. Hawaiian Mafia patronizing your establishment? I guess no one changes their stripes. Uh, what do you have to say about those suspicious herbs you've been growing? We have the photos, you know. They're all Japanese journalists. The graffiti's in Japanese too. What the hell? Huh? Please, just go away. Uh, that article is a complete fabrication. I've done nothing wrong. You're only causing a disturbance and hurting the other businesses out here. We're not going anywhere until we get some quotes. Uh, if the article's a lie, tell us the truth. Are the... Mafioso former stand-up clients? Are you living in Hawaii on dirty money? It's all on the internet now, Expresso San. You can't hide from this. Come out and talk. It's on the internet, huh? Former funny man forms felonious fellowship. That's a lot of Fs, a lot of, uh, was it, alliteration? Uh, caffeine craze crimester cultivates controlled substance. Where's all this crap? Wait, this picture? It's those two loudmouth jerks that were here. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's a pleasure to run into you again. Well, uh, you? Weren't you from the weekly Kuro Shio? Name's Fumita, man. I ate, out, ate out on your story for months back in Japan. The public loves a disgraced comic. Imagine my excitement when we uh, get this new tip in. You and the Hawaiian Mafia? Ha! <laughs> I booked the next flight. Like everyone else, it seems. <laughs> You're just a gift that keeps on giving, pal. Huh? I already said I didn't do anything. Then explain the photo. D I've got a source that says you're using coffee beans as cover for, his, for a much more exotic garden. Catch my drift? How long have you been working, the, working for the Mafia? 
Who really owns this place? Please, no more. <laughs> hey. Hmm? <sighs> I came here to buy some coffee. If you're not customers, would you step aside? You're blocking the way in. Uh? Oh, who's this guy? I told you, I'm just here to buy, uh, get some coffee. Uh, Maymoka son, that makes the best in the city. Moron, get your coffee somewhere else. Can't you see we've got important work to do? Important work? You're harassing the owner of a local business and keeping him from uh, serving his customers. This is a cafe, plain and simple. Why don't you all go report on a real story? Huh? To me, this looks a lot more like intimidation than journalism. We could see what the cops think, though. Huh? Getting arrested in Hawaii is a pain in the ass, you know? It could be ages before you could fly back to Japan. Damn it, fine, get your coffee. Yeah, you walk away. We should just like beat him up instead. Hm. Nicely played. It was only a uh, short reprieve. What'd you say? Never mind. See you soon. Hey, you okay? I am now. I can't believe I got, uh, got to thank you again. You keep saving me. Don't mention it. How the hell did everything get so crazy since I was last here? Look at the front of the store. It's all because of this article? Seems like it. With that stupid photo and everything. <sighs> ah, just when I was feeling like I'd turn a corner, this all starts again. I don't understand. Who took that picture? I've got no idea. Hmm? Hmm. Wait, when I left here before... That guy outside. Now, one reporter, Fumita, said someone called a, called a tip him off. You know, he probably hasn't gone far. Maybe I could uh, take a look around and see if I can find him. Alright, huh? I've got some things to do now, but uh, I don't think you should stay open today, in case those creeps yep. come back. Alright, if you say so. Don't worry, though. I'll find some way to take care of this. Lay low for now, and you'll be in business again soon. You sure? Alright. What is that for me to guy? I feel bad. That was like... Dude came here just like a new life and just... Yeah. Uh... Just a little bug. Alright, so we're gonna make our way over there, I think. Do a little, little bug one on the way. Try for that perfect balance between side quest and main quest. Wait, let me quickly go and grab this as well. Just in case. Uh, my phone's almost dead. I need to find an outlet somewhere. <sighs> what do really we get unlock here? Well, actually, I kind of want to get to a fight to see that we're going to the tag team now, because I think we unlocked the one with um, Tomizawa. Just, uh, yeah, here's this. A little bit easier. <laughs> So we go uh, over here. Oh, that's auto cruise. Oh, that's three thousand. Yeah, I haven't got. I haven't got three. I know. I've got about like two thousand. I, I ain't giving you a lot of money. I'll wait till like we're super rich, and then I can uh, just do it all at once. This is so cool. Just got auto cruise. Oh. Uh, make sure I grab that actually on the way. You're insane, go uh, All right. Oh, nice. Hey, bingo. Damn, Plus we're 25. So close now. Sick. Ah. <laughs> getting stuck a little. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fight. Nice. Yeah, so you can still get into fights while on the uh, little cruiser. Uh, gone the wrong way. What's the green here? How do I play baseball? Oh, baseball game in person. Beer and a late night game. That's the best. Isn't baseball better on the TV though? You get the commentary. And Gonna stuff. wait. Oh, EGB. I'm gonna get this done. Uh, I think I've been. I think in the yeah stadium is better. Stadium, I mean the football games and just going to a stadium is just the atmosphere is so great. It's like a festival. I mean, it depends. I mean, like, the fans can really make it or break it, honestly. I've sat next to people that were, like, really chill. And then I sat next to people that are just, uh, you, you wish you weren't sitting next to. <laughs> Let's quickly do that so we get that done. Oh, nice. Bonds up. Let's nice, jump off this. And, ooh. Yeah, go here. Give gift. Five bucks? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Here you go. Oh, there you go. Level 10. I use uh, Tag Team Double Dragons. Oh, Sick. Can't wait. Uh, that's what we want. Can I get more gifts? Uh, should probably do a Chitose. Hey, I was just getting up. Aloha. Try and lock her. Oh, that's just Thank stuff you. I'm buy. Uh, yeah. So let's talk to you. What's up? Hey there, Mr. Yamada. Oh, Ricky. Haven't seen you in a while. Ricky. It's a nickname from the Rick and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I still say Tommy's a better nickname, yeah? You know, honestly, I like Tommy. Hard to say. No, no, no. Uh, Tommy's better. Uh, are, you, are you all friends? What brings you here today? Oh, well, actually, we're... Oh, no. Hey, Yamada. How's business, huh? Oh, uh, hi. Huh? Wait. These guys are barracudas? Listen, Yamada. We all got a bit, uh, bit too uh, sippy last night, and my head's pounding. Yeah. What you got for a quick fix? Oh, some grapefruit ought to take care of that. Hmm. Gee, you'd have guessed. Not like you have uh, much else. Oh, but wait. Actually, you do. I know something you got that will do us one better. Pardon? Money. Nothing that blowing some cash on a couple hotties can't cure. Am I right? So how about you uh, stuff the grapefruits? And just empty out the register. Wait. I've had enough of this. Uh, uh, BS, how about you back off? Huh? Nah, this place uh, has got... This place got talking fruits too, eh? Hmm. Hell of a selection. Oh, Tommy, any idea what to do next? We teach him a lesson. What else? <laughs> <laughs> and you get a gold star. Look, I don't want any trouble. Don't worry. This is all just part of, a, of our volunteer totally. work. That's right. Oh, would you say? Think you can uh, bite back at the barracudas and get away with it? I do. You can't run for me. Right, time to I want to try to start a tag team attack. Okay, I'm up. Right, so, uh... Do we have to uh, wait for... Uh, maybe, uh, like, uh, Kiryu or uh, Tommy's? Turn to do it. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just attack you. You're weak. Right. Here we go. Press R2. Tag team. Let's go for you. You good? All right. Take this fist. Honestly, kind of sick. All right. And what's your tag team? Weak. Yo, let's do that thing. Right on. What? Where you looking? You might get hurt. Okay, so that's what the infinite like symbol was. I was wondering what that was uh, earlier. Didn't say. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll find out. But uh, yeah, that means the tag team's ready. I guess that'll start filling up once we uh, do some attacks and whatnot. Let's hit you. Get you gone. Now, if we all focus on this one last dude. Yeah, so it goes up a little bit. One attack does uh, one little bar, so that's gonna be what eight attacks. I'm just not. Maybe a little more. Ooh, not bad experience. Hey, they got level 17 as well. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Every organization has its stooges. It is just like you who start thinking the gang's muscle is their, uh, is their own. You don't come near the store again. Got it, brother? Yeah. Honestly, Kiryu is so intimidating. <laughs> Starting to pick up the local language, I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I got the message. You can relax now. It won't be coming back. But really? Thank you so much. They've been threatening me for some time now. Taking away my earnings every chance they get. Mm. Oh, really? Well, we won't bother you anymore. We can try somewhere else. Wait, is this for the food bank? If so, by all means, let me help you out. By my way of saying thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, I've got the best produce in town. Some of these I can't seem to sell, but they still taste great. Of course, uh, there's these grapefruits thanks. too. Hm, sounds like we're in business then. Thanks a ton. Alright, let's hit up some of the other stores. We have some steak tonight. That mom and her kid look so happy. I can't tell you how thankful we are you came along. Just look at what your hard work has done. <laughs> and that makes it all the more worth it. Hard to see so many in need of food, though. 
Hurts, doesn't it? Hawaii's inflation gets worse every year. The rent being worst of all. An average family pays $3,000 a month just to live in a tiny apartment. $3,000? That's 300,000 in yen? Back home, you could get a frickin' penthouse with that. A lot of people have multiple jobs just to stay afloat in this economy. Whew, take it from me. It is rough out there. I'm barely scraping by as it is. Yeah, but not everyone's as lazy as you, Tommy. <laughs> Shut up. Man, I, I always had this image of Hawaii as perfect, but I guess reality hits hard even in paradise. Right? And now, more than ever, we need to put Aloha Aina into practice. That's why I do what I do at Palekana. Feeding the hungry, helping the needy. Ah, if only I could do it like Akane did. Speaking of which, how do we do? Anyone find any leads? Nope. Not on my end. <sighs> Same. I asked as many people as I could if they knew her. But all they could tell me was how nice she was. Things like that. Same here. Guess we all struck out this inning. Ah, <sighs> sorry to hear it. Kalinson, what other kind of work did Akane-san do? Well, she'd also pick up trash off the beach and then finish the night with a leisurely patrol around town. All in a day's work for her. Then can we help with that stuff too? As long as you're cool with it. Hey, I'm cool if you are. Today we'll be cleaning Aloha Beach before sunset. We could definitely use the extra help. So if you could join the rest of our group, we'd really appreciate it. I'll come by after closing up shop here. Perfect. Then see you at Aloha Beach before sunset. You're pretty excited about all this, huh, Ichiban? I mean, isn't it nice to help others in need? Plus, we can look for clues while we're at it. What's so weird about that? Mm, nothing, I guess. So, Aloha Beach before sunset. We still have uh, daylight to play. Hey, man. Maybe let's unwind for a bit. You haven't had a break since you came here, have you? Besides, if you're in Hawaii, you might as well do something Hawaiian for a change. Yeah? Like what? You could surf, take hula lessons, there's lots to uh -huh. do. Be nice to enjoy things for a change. Like Tomizawa said, we've been running around non-stop. True. Guess it wouldn't hurt to relax, huh? Let's do it! Hey, I know, there's a travel agency over by Worldwide Market. Tourists go there all the time. And I'm sure there's a lot they can recommend. As a local, I don't know how to feel about that. But hey, it might be fun. Alright, it does sound fun. Alright, so we need to go all the way over here. Anything around here we can do? I think, was this the shrine here? Fortune exchange, yes. Yeah, so I want to quickly go check this out. I want to see if uh, we can maybe get a new thing. Because we picked up a lot of fortunes recently. I say recently, like over the last few episodes, so uh, let's talk to you. Let's get a f uh, flame amulet, five points. Loads of damage taken from fire attacks. Guess I should get that. Not gonna equip it just yet though, but if we fight a fire like boss or you know, enemy later on. Now then. Uh, next, I'm gonna go over here. If we go. Uh, to this bit. Oh, no, I just want to move here. Yeah, do that. Ooh, get some intellect up for uh, taking the taxi. I don't see my right, let's get really hours up, up and still no bingo. Right, let's make our way. I think, uh, do we just find a way in? Wait, we got some stuff on the way. Like, I want to go and maybe make some gear soon as well. I'll do some upgrades if we can. Or at least maybe try and buy some new stuff. Oh, it's raining. Whoa, where'd this rain come from? I heard Hawaii gets a lot of sudden showers. But I didn't expect it to be this quick. It's kind of cool. Uh, so we've got another Tommy Zawa one. Let's make our way through. Pick up some stuff on the way. Movie theater on. I'd say. All right. Oh, we're getting so close to bingo. Hey, 
Chichon, a travel agency you were mentioning. It's around here, right? Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure it was. Whoa! Whoa! My bad. I wasn't looking. Uh, are you okay? Whoa. Whoa. What is this thing? Aloe happy. What? Aloe happy? Oh, are you by chance here to visit us? Huh? Welcome to Aloe Happy Tours. Hello, happy tours? Sorry about earlier. Allo Happy here should have been more careful. Uh, sure. Oh, oh Allo Happy's his name. Got it. That's right. He's our unmistakable mascot, known for being wildly unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not popular? Well, anyway, this is a travel agency, isn't it? Yes! This is a Japanese travel agency built and run by Japanese people for Japanese tourists visiting from Japan. Here, all our Japanese-speaking staff slave away for chump change by preparing tours and activities unabashedly geared towards Japanese taste. My name is Elizabeth, and I'm the manager here. Granted, Elizabeth is just a nickname. My real name is Ari Yamada. Elizabeth is based on Ari. Get it? Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we heard about this place. Thought you could help us get the full Hawaii experience. You mentioned you had some activities, right? Can you tell us more? Oh, you're interested in our activities. Well, Allo Happy's got you covered. Whether it's shows, water sports, or just appreciating nature, we've got a volcano's worth of activities offering the very best of Hawaiian culture. And for a limited time, your first experience is totally 100% free. From dorky little kids to grouchy, impatient seniors, it's a chance for the whole gang to have fun at no cost. It's your lucky day, valued customer. Oh, okay. Well, free is good. Yeah, all right. Sign us up. Okay. Let's get Allo happy. That thing is so creepy, man. But yeah, free stuff is best stuff. So you can sign up for activities at the main office in uh, Waikiki to unlock new jobs. Feel free to change uh, to jobs you've unlocked at any Allo happy location. Hawaii Worldwide Market Village. Okay. So, Allo Happy Tours offers a variety of activities that allow, you, allow the party to experience the magic of Hawaii. Who knows, maybe someone will have a, a revelation about a new job. Bear in mind, however, activities will require, new, will require some money and depth of personality. Um, it looks like there's currently a free promotion for newcomers. What are you waiting for? Sign up. Hey, okay. Diving tour. Sounds good. Have fun. Everything you dreamed of? Amazing. Uh, seriously, that was awesome. And it was like, uh, this revelation came to me. Like, I can take on the bad guys in a whole new way. Uh, take on the bad guys? You okay? Oh, yeah. It's hard to describe. But if you ever qualified for a new job at Hello Work, it's kind of like that. Okay, the Aquanaut. Hey, I think the Allo Happy Spirit might have gone to his head, huh? Yes. So, 
it sounds like you were inspired. I heard that can happen when you're having fun, especially when you're trying something new. And there's plenty more activities to enjoy, so don't miss out. Though we will have to charge you next time. Sure, I'll be back either way. Oh, and as an incentive to keep regulars chained to us as lifelong financial supporters, we have an Allo Happy Room for you to use, free of charge. Allo Happy Room? It's a private space made special for you. Use it anytime you want to change your outfit or just snag a little R&R. &R. Oh, it's pretty handy, so when you're feeling up to it, give it a try. Huh, all right. Okay, we'll give it a go. Right, so time for a change. The Allo Happy Room is a fitting room provided by Allo Happy Tours. We can change jobs and inherit skills. Allo Happy Rooms can be found at any uh, Allo Happy T Tours location, so don't forget to stop by every now and then. Oh, damn, Kiryu looks sick there. So in the Allo Happy Room, you can set inherit skills from any job you've had, with the exception of Suji Mansa. You unlock uh, skill inheritance slots as you improve your personality and deepen your bonds. So when the character's job rank increases, not only will the stats given by that job grow, so will the character's own stats. The more jobs a character ranks up, the stronger they get. Check out the uh, stat growth. Okay, so. I guess we can... fit. Are we going to that DLC ones? No. I feel like a cowboy there. Uh... I guess I'll go for Aquanaut. All my stats go down, but the MP goes up. Oh, you changed the, the outfit as well. Did oh, I change the outfit yeah, for this is cool. Oh, that looks sick. These outfits, man, badass. <laughs> Uh, I think. I don't want to keep my that on, man. I should probably rank up other things. So stats-wise, is it just HP goes down by one, but MP goes. Uh... I can put anything on. Okay, sick. Who's sexy? Today's fit. Let's put that on for a little bit. How are you meant to choose? <laughs> I even dyes his hair. Um, I feel like, should I just level up all of it for a little bit? Oh my god, it looks so sick. So this is from Yak Yakuza 0. It's, uh... I think, let's just Not bad. <laughs> use this for a little bit. Maybe it's time I change. You always change it later on, we'll rank these up a bit. I need a makeover. That's am I trying cool. too hard? Eh, nothing works for me. And then what Chitose. am I feeling? Oh, I haven't got any other ones for her. It's got tennis, uh, hula dancer, Maid? Likes intellect, kindness. Got to visit the Let's see if we can get any more um, stuff though. So, how was it? Allo happy are we? Man, this really is handy. Consider me soul. Allo happy rooms are all over Hawaii. We have offices in the Anaconda Center and even in Japan, ready for use at any time. Well then, see you on your next adventure. So if they're in Japan, can we go back to Japan at any time? Or do we have to like just wait until like a part of the story go back to Japan? I don't know. It feels like we should go back at some point. There's a lot there. Uh, can we do any Welcome. more tours? Oh, tons of stuff to choose from. I need my uh, my stuff up. That's two hundred. I guess I could do. This one? 
Right, it's level four. Uh, yeah, it's level five. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, we can do this one. As well. That's all I will have so I'll do the uh, two tools we can do to get them job classes. Sick, new job for uh, Chitose. And then we'll do the other one as well. So we've got the money, Welcome. might as well. Oh, tons of stuff to choose from. Uh this one. Enjoy yourself. Okay, I'll probably keep you, put you as a pyromancer then. That way we're a little bit more balanced, I think. So if we go change jobs. What matches my personality? Uh, pirate dancer. Honestly, that looks kind of sick. I'll go with this. Today's I hate that dude in the background though. He's so creepy. Always so hard to choose. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Special outfits. Oh my God. Um, and the white looks kind of cool. With it. What am I feeling? I got juicy taste. Oh, you can be a power dancer as well. Uh, I'll keep you as Aquanaut. So we got inherent star. Oh, I cannot do any of this. Oh, I can do one of these. Uh, I'll go for. I probably should get a grapple one. I should need a grapple because he can do his attack, can't he? Oh no, that might be his job class, so I probably should switch just in case. Alright, that'll do. So now what? Hey. Huh? Oh, it's Allo Happy. What's up? Take one. Okay. Allo Happy presents Tropical Photo Rally? What's this? It's an event we're hosting, like a game. You get hints that'll lead you around to take pictures. Wanna try it out? Holy crap, you, you actually have a normal human voice. Duh, I only keep up that act in front of Liz. Keep my head down, sound cute, or else I get the punishment. She's scarier than she looks, man. Uh, and by Liz, I meant Elizabeth. Oh, I'd really kill for a cig. Got a light? No. Uh, and wait a sec. How are you gonna smoke with that on your head? Oh, right. There is that. <laughs> well, all that aside, what do you think? Are you down? For the photo rally, I mean. Well, it seems nice, but... We're pretty busy. We didn't exactly come to Hawaii for sightseeing, to be honest. Throw me a bone, man. Hey, you even get prizes if you take enough pics. And participation is free. Not a bad deal, know what I mean? Not to mention the prizes are top-notch. 
You can score a t-shirt with me on it, a mini me keychain, even a towel embossed with yours truly. Sounds like you're just pawning off your extra inventory. Ha <laughs> ha what a zinger! You're busting my balls here. Please, now I'm actually begging you. If no one shows up, this will fucking skin me alive. Don't even get me started on my paycheck, understand? I'm desperate! Okay, fine. Who doesn't like free stuff anyway, right? Might as well try. It does sound fun. Oh, God, thanks. I owe you one. I am one Allo happy guy. Uh, wait, so uh, how does this work? Ah, uh, yes. Allow me to go over it with you. <clears throat> this will be a simple test run. Can you replicate this photo by taking a picture of the same spot? It's so creepy. I hate this dude so much, but press up, take out your camera and join the photo rally. Look carefully around town for camera symbols. When you see one, focus the screen on the viewer uh, you're hunting and press X when the icon turns green. You want me to look for the place in the photo and take my own picture of it. Gotcha. If I was trying to find like a place to just like do some tourist stuff and I saw this face. This is it. I probably should step, step back a little bit. I would not go here. It's just too creepy. Uh, so just, that came yeah, out there you well. go. That was a lot. All right, to the picture now. Let's head back to Lower Happy. Okay, gotta go back in here. Ugh, creepy. Nailed it. Oh, excellent! You got it. Just keep doing that, and you're a okay. <sighs> when you open the app, you can choose from a bunch of different subjects, like you did just now. Just reference the pictures, find the correct location, and snap a pic. Once you've taken a certain number of pictures. Come find me. I'll slip you some top shelf loot. Okay, so hints and rewards of photo rally spots can be checked in the photo rally app on your phone. Got it. I'll keep that in mind as I explore Hawaii. Please do. And with that, have an alo happy time. I hope I never see your face again, honestly. It's so, it creeps me out so much. I really hate it. I really, really hate that face. Okay, so the sun's starting to set. Don't we have to be somewhere? Okay. Right, let's go clean up the Aloha Beach. Right, whereabouts is the beach? Right there, and we've got a side quest as well we can do. So our, um, go into the little, uh, heart to heart. Then we'll go to the side quest, then we'll go clean up the beach. So we just turn around real quick. I'm going to do this. I didn't know you were a cop. <laughs> so really we opening up. Coffee brewing. And the side quest is just over here. I'm going to grab this first. Oh, step over it. Right. Uh, what's the side quest? These? Wait, how do I start the side quest? to you? No? Do I jump on the bus? Uh, Charlies are a great way to get around Hawaii. You can enjoy the views of some unique dialogue with your companions. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know. I saw a side quest. It just oh, unless it's snow. Hey. Yes, dude. What's up? Okay, never mind. Try it a little bit later, I guess then. Oh, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. I'm going to get this real quick. Don't All fight. Right. Hey, we got a bingo. Nice. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. All right, let's go clear up the beach, shall we? That was a very beautiful one. This I game's like so big, there's so much to do. You made it! Thanks for coming! Sure. Were you guys praying just now? That's right. We were sending our thoughts toward Nele Island. Nele Island? Uh, it's sacred land to us in Palekana. 
One of the small islands out there bears the name of our goddess. Legend has it, that's where Madame Nele rests her head. Ah, so is it like some kind of sanctuary of yours? That's right. It's been protected since the Hawaiian dynasties, and even today, it retains its spiritual purpose. When I think of the ideal life, I think of being one with nature, nestled in the island's untouched bounty. The ideal life? I guess everyone's got a different idea of luxury. Yeah, you think? However, only our sage is pure enough to set foot on the island. Along with a select few who have demonstrated their virtue. Of course, I've never set foot on the island myself. Or even seen it with my own eyes. Maybe if I became a Haku, that would change. A Haku? Haku is a title or a role given only to those with great merit and extreme devotion. They alone can live on Nele Island, and only the sage decides who's worthy. Yeah? Well, with all the work you do, I'm surprised you're not one already. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, but my faith is far from pure. Even my wish to become Haku is tainted with selfish desire. Huh. So off the coast of Hawaii, there's a paradise waiting within paradise. You think Akane-san was trying to be a Haku? I sincerely doubt it. Unlike me, she never showed concern for herself. She never sought recognition, rewards, none of that. In fact... What? Oh, well, this one time I asked her directly how she was able to be so kind and dedicate herself to others. What she told me, I'll never forget. She said it was her way of atonement. Atonement? For what, I wonder? Cutting out that Arakawa guy? Guess we'll only find that out in person, right? Yeah. Anyway, shall we get started on our activity? <sighs> I'd say that looks pretty clean. <sighs> Kane-san sees this every night, huh? <laughs> you done spacing out over here? Don't just sneak up on me. So, you find any clues? Uh, oh, no. You? Mm, nope. All I found was the virtue of cleaning up trash. At this rate, we'll work our way up to Haku before we ever see Akane-san. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> hey, Ichiban. Huh? When you do meet Akane-san, say you do find out she really is your mother and all that. What then? Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. I doubt we're gonna cry our eyes out or anything. For now, I'll hand this over. And keep the rest short and sweet. I see. I envy you, you know. Huh? Why is that? I told you about my home life, right? About my family? In my eyes, all that stuff about family, togetherness, that's bullshit. People always say your family is your foundation in life. But to me, they're a curse I can't get rid of. But you, I want what you have, to live free. <sighs> Sorry, didn't mean to dump my personal problems on you or anything. You know, Chichan, you could always run. Uh, what? Just pack up and go. I'll even help. Trust me, I once pulled off a night flight when I was in the Yakuza. Oh, please. 
I thought you could tell I was being serious. And I'm being serious too. When you say, I want to live free, I say, let's make it happen. No matter how big or how bad the Fujinomias are, there has to be a place they can't reach. And that's where I'll take you. Remember, you saved my life. I figure it's the least I can do. Um, uh, uh, Ichiban? Yeah? Not to be rude, but it sounded like you wanted to elope with me just now. But, huh? Th that wasn't what I said at all! <laughs> I know, but dude, it's how you said it. <laughs> oh, F me. Uh, I should just keep my feelings bottled up inside. First I proposed to Sachan like an idiot, and now Chi-Chan gets the wrong message. Oh, damn it. Hey, you can stop with the pity party, oh, okay? Oh, sorry about that. Just falling apart at the seams. You know how it is. I really didn't mean to scare you off there. I'm not always the best talker, for sure. Even so, I want you to know I'm here for you. Please don't get the wrong idea about that. I'd love for us to stay friends, you know? Okay. God, how clueless can he get? Huh? You say something? Guys, thanks a ton. Today's cleanup was a cinch with you on board. Uh, hey, happy to help. Nothing like a nice, clean beach, right? Ichiban. Uh, yeah? Thank you for that. <laughs> well, at this point, we know next to nothing. Any tiny detail could be of help. For instance, I was thinking maybe Akane-san could have slipped onto a boat during one of these trash pickups. But then I realized the water's too shallow. Plus, there's nothing here to give you any cover. So, at least we can rule out the idea that she sailed out to see someone. Wow, what a detailed thought you had. You must be a certified genius. You don't have to be an ass, you know. Let's hear what you found then. Not much. I went around looking for things she could have dropped. But of course that went nowhere. Same with me. I asked around, but didn't get anything useful. Callan, what was that other thing Akane-san used to do? She'd patrol the town every evening. Even though Hawaii's one of the safer states, it still sees its fair share of crime. What we do is check out any tourists who've been drinking or guys just hanging around. Make sure everyone's safe. Akane-san did that too? She really did, just about everything. Okay, then we know what we gotta do. We'll patrol the night away. Ho ho ho! Do I sense some enthusiasm? What? This is how I always am? Hmm. We'll step in for Akanius on this round. What routes do you guys usually take? Tonight, we'll be going around the Aloha Bridge and the art walls. We'll be starting by Aloha Bridge, so you'll want to head over that way. Guy named Romero is going to be in charge. Talk to him when you want to get started. I still have some cleanup left to do, so I'll join you by the time you're at the art walls. Got it. And we'll go see Romero. All right, night patrol. Okay. So, uh, what's the swimsuit change? Is that just like getting to a swimsuit for the beach deal. if we want to, you know, you obviously want. go Is it chill really on the beach for a little bit? Or like walking your whole house around. Huh. huh. Ooh, an air gun. Uh, right, so we are gonna go all the way over here. Anything to do on the way? I'm gonna see if I can find that Joe, side quest like again on the way. Man, you need some backbone to walk around with a four bedroom. Yeah, but imagine what it says about your crab status. Any guy with a four bedroom Ooh, shell must be. Nice, level up, BB. Gonna give it to Chitose because really? she's really far behind. I was just getting hungry. Oh, so side quest. Oh, photo. This is it. 
that came out well. Nice. So I'm trying to obviously all the foes if I see them. So that thing's gone. Maybe I can stand the place. So it's like. This guy? No. I don't know. I can't get that side quest to activate. Maybe it's got like a certain time of day. I'll just come back and try again later on. Uh, let's jump on the scooter. Yeah, let's go. This is so sick, man. <laughs> Wait, auto cruise on. I can't say hello to people on the way. I need to like, when I get the chance, I need to look at who the voice actors are for like some of these characters. Cause like, Chitose, uh, Kazuga, sound really familiar. Kiryu and um, Tomizo, I, I, I don't know, don't recognize their voice. I feel like um, the Sujimon guy is, uh, is Zhongli. <laughs> Who else? Uh, I'm pretty sure the boss we bat battled at the start of this episode was Danny Treo. There's a few like voices I feel like I recognize. All right, let's go on our patrol. Hey. So you're, uh, are you Romero? Yeah, I take it you're Kazuga. Callan told me all about you. Said you were helping with patrol. That's the plan. Anything specific you'd like us to do? Well, we've got a pretty big area to cover, so we should split up into groups. How about you and your team patrol along the river? We'll take care of the other spots. Sure, along the river sounds good. Anything we need to watch out for? Hmm, you should probably know about the labyrinth. A labyrinth? What, like a dungeon? It's a building that was never finished. Plans fell through during construction and it's been abandoned ever since. Well, I say abandoned, but actually a bunch of crazy people started living there. Sometimes you even hear about locals walking by and going missing, so I'd steer clear if I were you. Damn, that doesn't sound good. We'll definitely be on guard, for sure. Better not take any risks anyway. After we're done with patrol, let's meet back up here. I'll see you soon. So, we got a labyrinth filled with crazies here in Hawaii. Better stay on alert while we're on patrol. I assume we want to go in there then? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going in there. I should actually get into one little fight to test out our new new jobs and see what they're like. I'm gonna crush you. Show me what you got. Oh, actually, I might have new weapons I can put on. I should check. So a tropical hip drop, which deals magic damage to the enemy and may lower their willpower. All right, let's give that a go. Nice. Sounds pretty good. And then we got uh, deals magic damage to enemies with a high chance of blinding them. Oh, you got? Have I got a grapple? Should break your guard. Yeah, knock him down, punch him down. <laughs> All right, uh... Okay, break it down for these sponges and maybe increase your agility at the same time. Just for the hit you with this. Hit you with some flippers. This new stuff is so weird. Oh, the new job is cool, but like I do kind of miss what I had before. Oh, you're guarding now? Okay, gotta be a bit careful. Uh, let's... Use a lot of MP, but I can just break a guard at least. There's a lot of damage as well. Alright, so let me check my weapons, because... I forgot, new jobs, new weapons. Oh, so grass cutters, like the main one. I should sell some stuff. Wooden board, ooh. Does more. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, um, give you the wooden board. Because I think... Yeah, I'll do. Oh, let's pick up that. Ah, right, pick it up. Best fortune, nice. I might switch Kiryu back to, like, normal just to have someone that can grapple easier. Is this the place Romero told us about? The labyrinth? He said they cancelled construction partway through. Left it abandoned. 
Only it's not abandoned anymore. <laughs> Looks dicey. Ready to check it out? He told us to steer clear of this place specifically. You're just going inside? I mean, we're on patrol. Aren't we supposed to investigate danger? <sighs> Maybe, but... Whoa there. Seems you're considering venturing into the nether. Don't tell me. You're after the great reward. Come again? Know ye not? This building stretches deep into the bowels of the earth. They say any who reach the bottom will find treasure beyond description. Many have entered, seeking riches and power, glory, and truths unknowable. Most have never been seen again. Seriously? Hey, is that why we heard people go missing in here? Perhaps. The labyrinth obeys not the laws of this world. It thwarts any with hubris enough to think it navigable. Those who cross the threshold to that underworld oft find their path distorted and return ever unattainable. Of course, were I them, I'd count myself lucky to simply be ransomed killed by the scofflaws who've taken harm inside. Uh, okay, wait. So the building does have people staying in it? Ah, tis a sinner's hive therein, a lawless sepulcher. Authorities have long since given up on their painted order. Turned a blind eye, they have. Moreover, it's said that those who meet their ends inside Join the curse which keeps the maze air twisting. Tis truly some horror movie shit. You're saying the layout of the place changes? Such is its dark legend. Further, fouler details I know not, for I am merely a watcher. Take heed of my warnings, your lives, young God. What now? Mm. Ah! Huh? Wait, did you hear that scream just now? Mm. Are we gonna check it out? Like I said before, we're here to patrol. You can't ignore something like that. Yeah, figured as much. Thanks for the story, old man. Ha! Ah, as you will. By the by, think you might spare a dollar for my spiel. Huh? I'm not some kind of video game character. It takes time and effort for me to hang around here warning people. It feels like a Skyrim sort of like the how it's like the camera angled right now. But I'll pay, I'll pay you ten bucks. You, you did good. Big help. Here you go. What? S seriously? This much? Oh, you're a living legend of generosity, fella. Shit. I really hope you don't die in there. Appreciate it. Right, let's go. I hope I don't die too. I want to check something I can. Oh, I guess I can't do it at the moment because we're inside, but something foreboding about this place? Yeah, Labyrinth is the perfect word for it. It's like a video game dungeon. Someone help me! Who's there? Came from up ahead. Let's go. So, dungeons are lawless zones rife with adversaries. The layout change every time you enter, and denizens grow stronger as you progress. Rumor has it that the most powerful foes lurk in the lowest depths. Make sure you're ready for the descent. Losing a battle inside a dungeon will transport you back to its entrance. In the dungeons, you might stumble upon some innocent missing persons who are stuck in uh, dangerous situations. Be sure to lend a helping hand if you happen to find them. Be able to gather a number of unique items as you explore. In fact, some of these items can only be found within. So it pays to be thorough. Deliver these to uh, recipients waiting back at the entrance for helpful rewards. So can I um do this? If I go party, no, let's just edit. So I can't, yeah, I think I have to go to the Alola Happy place to to actually change jobs. So I'm going to do it on the fly. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I'm going to put Kiryu back. Uh, yeah. It'll be fun to go for a dungeon. Yo, I think I found something 
Try and check every ooh, nook and cranny so we can find. Seems like that old man was right. It's easy to lose your way in here. No yeah, wonder people come missing. You could spend days in here and not learn the layout. Maybe it's true. Maybe the place is yeah. cursed after all. Go try and grab as much stuff as we can. It doesn't seem like they're on this floor. Let's keep going. Okay, down we go. Next floor. Let's take to the next floor. Oh. I thought like a battle was going to happen for a second then. Okay, rescued zero out of five. Oh, what is that? What is what? Oh, ale. Let's fight. Just Let's get it done. Oh, you're weak to this? Okay, sick. No damage. No way. Okay, right. chill. Here we go. Alright, uh, I'm gonna hit. Come on. You, I'm gonna hit you into Chitose. Nice. Yeah, and you kick that. Oh, come on. Come on, get some. I might have to use uh, some skills to get okay, tough. Well, we've got plenty of like, HP. Like, what? Right, finish you off real quick. Nice. Looks like I'm up. And let's try this wrestling glider. <laughs> yes, I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll just level these up, like these jobs, a little bit, and probably go back to the ones I originally had because I, I, I did like how they played. I had some pretty good like weapons for them, and oh man, learning new jobs is sometimes a little bit difficult. As long as like, obviously in different jump class, you can find something super OP. Remember, like uh, Bravely Bolt Two, when I found like the uh, I never really liked the uh, Ninja class, the Pirate no, Ninja class. I never liked the Ninja class, but I found like a super broken like thing I could do, and I could just destroying people. So you can find a broken job class for this game as well, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Nice. Any more females? Sick. Still no people. Alright, so we go back this way. Let's take a right this time. That one like little caterpillar people. Don't make a fool of me. Show me what you got. Is it just you? Nope, there's three people, okay. This. Let's try and knock me through the plasma, I can't get the angle. Mm, attack you. Here we go. You resist that, so we'll just finish this dude off. Or not. Oh okay, good. Just to say luckily just managed to get that last little hit in. Oh no, you resist this arm oh, my Nothing. Something wrong. Ow. Okay. How do you like to die? I can do this. Uh. Get scared? What's the hold up? Do you resist it? It's no point. Got no more attack on you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just not liking the uh, new jobs at the moment. Right, let's finish you off. Okay, it's metal worm. This is a metal worm. People get more experience. Keep thinking of uh, Dragon Quest. So that does HP, doesn't it? So let's just do this. Right. Ooh, healing's pretty good though. 
I'm just not feeling it. I guess I'm just gonna try to do as much as I can. Here we go. I thought you resist everything, just sucks. Oh, we ran away. Yeah, it has to be like a, like a metal slime from like Dragon Quest. I reckon we would have got so much experience if we managed to kill that. But they are very difficult to beat. I'm not sure in this game what's the best like way to beat them. So if you've got any like you know tips, let me know. Next time we encounter one, we can just uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully take it out. Where are the people at, man? The rescue fight people. Let's do this. Nice. Uh, try to take out the pipe, oh, Alex. They're annoying. Let's go Essence Dags. I know I can run through these. Nice. Got the bleed. There as well. I think I can get the other dude. Yeah, got them both. Okay, I'm up. Both out. Sick. So I think once we uh, doing better, learning more every day. Who knew I? Once we get back to um, outside, I think Ichiban and Kiryu and. Should Tose, I'll probably put their jobs back to normal. I think I but I might something. keep Tomizawa as the Aquanaut because the healing's pretty good. Well, I, do, I, do, I don't know. I do like. Uh, we'll see. This now wraps us back here. Let's go back to the left, yeah. Ooh. Yo, I think I found something. Can't miss this. All right, so let's go down then, shall we? Next floor. That's how you do it. They said it was ten floors, right? The dungeon, or is it just infinite? Ooh, oh, ten, ten floors, I think. Please, so we've got a save, save point me. here. Let's save the game. Get healed up. Let's go for it. Powerful like adversary, let's go. Help me. What? Done already? You're pathetic. Hey, you okay? The hell? Who are all of you? You after the treasure in here? I had someone crying for help, so I came. Why are you here? Stress relief. Also my doctor calls it. The little lost lambs wandering here. I have fun with them. Keep my blood pressure down. Of course, this puddle of uh, chicken poop had no fight in him. I'm thinking I still got stress to spare. How about you guys want to help me cool off a while? <laughs> You're welcome to try. Might end up worse off than you started though. All right, big talk. Let's see. Oh, okay, they are two clown dudes. Okay, I'm up. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Three uh, hips. That's not too great. Uh. I'm just gonna focus this dude. Oh, this is the boss, Alan. That's not too great. Gonna go for. Oh, man. Kinda sucks. Oh, these guys are tough. They're level 18 as well. Only have one level 18 at the moment. Uh. The flipper uh, attacks not too bad. I actually managed to block. I couldn't even see the attack coming in. Now, oh my god! Even blocking us 56. Right, I think I'm gonna focus on Alan. And are you weak to like anything? Let's try bewitching Haze. Well. 
Yeah, it's not too bad, but I don't think I'll go for that again. Nothing personal. Okay, this is not good. Here I come. So we'll focus on Alan, get you gone, and then we'll just go from there. I think these like jobs could be better if I bought some better what, weapons for them, because obviously our last jobs had some decent stuff. I think maybe when I unlock some jobs I won't put them on right away, we'll just wait till we uh, yeah, get some good stuff. This isn't not going too well. Wait, should I do this? Uh, I think I'll call you. I haven't done this in a while. I've got the money, so might as well. Come on, big damage, please. Stunt killer salvo. Ooh, yeah, that was definitely worth it. That was great damage. Like, Kiryu's almost got his uh, ready for the knockout. Tag team attack. I should probably go for some heals after. I was always got MP, so oh my god. Looks like I'm up. I'm ready. Yeah, let's go over here, heal him up. Got it. Oh, so much damage. Let's get it done. Or I should just attack you to try to finish you off. Sick. Alright. Makes life a little bit easier. Which is so good. I should try a grenade. I should have had some grenades for later on. Although, you know, I'm pretty weak, so I'll just eat some food real quick. Uh, 150 HP and some MP. Oh no, oh man, I thought I, was, I got confused by the thing. I was used the wrong one. I thought I was something sour. That's my bad. Uh, let's go attack you. <laughs> right, maybe the stunt director can take you out. Sick. All right, now it's the boss left. Later's. Okay, just don't die. Just don't die. Here we go. Uh, we'll go for the flippers. Alright, <laughs> finally get to attack a little bit. Oh, come with the enemies, so can't go for that. There we go, man, that was tough. We got a lot of experience though. Got a lot of money as well. Got money back for basically calling the uh, stunt director. Ooh, okay. Hey, who knew I had it in me? I think I'm getting better at this. Don't know how to thank you all. I was curious about that damn treasure, but then I, once I was inside, I couldn't get out. Then I got caught and, oh, what a okay. nightmare. Don't know what this treasure's all about, but nothing's worth more than your life. Stay away from this place from now on. Right, wise words, those. Uh, here, uh, take this at least for saving me. What do I get? Ooh, a jet surfboard, sick. Okay, so Sup? someone's gotta stay as the Aquanaut now. Do you know if there's any more people trapped here? I'm afraid so. I could hear them calling for help from further down. Some of us wandered in out of sheer curiosity. I had no idea what we we're getting into. Even more uh, came looking for the treasure. It seems the lower floors are home to truly dreadful characters. You will seem strong enough, but I'll still advise an uh, abundance of caution venturing any deeper. You'd uh, hack. Oh. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, hi. It's really beaten up. Uh, let's get him back to safety. 
We're pretty worn out too, yeah? Not a good idea to keep going right now. Okay. Yeah, let's head back up. That's, yeah, definitely the right right call. Because that enemy was boss, but boss was just, it was really tough. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. Yeah. Steer clear from now on. Got it? Jeez, they were right to call it the Labyrinth. This place is hella cursed. Maybe. But if there really are stronger enemies in there, I can't think of a better place to test our skills. And there's that treasure too, I guess. Fine. If you're sure, I'm down to come by again. Alright, another sub story down. So I think about wraps up patrol, we should meet up with Romero again. Yes, we should. Uh, before I forget. So I'm gonna go give you this. That jet board looks so sick. So obviously we are I'm gonna keep you as that. I'm gonna put everyone back to their original classes we had. What are you what are you looking at? What am I looking at? Nothing, boss. Don't worry about it. Uh, Chitose Buster Homes, thank you for your patronage. Dear Mr. Kazuka, thank you for being such a loyal client. This is Chitose Buster Homes, reaching out to you from Poundmates. Currently running a Patreon appreciation campaign, we'll be giving away gifts to some of our regulars. If you're interested, you can find me at the Oha Burger, so please stop by if you can. Hope to see you there. Okay. Sick. Alright, let's go and uh, let them know that we finished patrol. Hey. Hey, sorry we're late. No worries, we're just glad for the help. I think that's about it for this area. There's still another area left, right? Yeah, that'd be the art wall. Yeah, the art walls. Cullen should be there. Got it. Got it. Then uh, we'll go help them out. Hey, thanks so much. I'll be heading back to the food bank now. Hope you'll be helping us out. Better meet up with Cullen at the art walls. So where is this place? This is all the way over there. So I think I want to go here first. Can we like? Fast travel was the fastest place. Probably from like the orphanage and run across. Let's change some job classes back, make life a little bit easier for ourselves. Ooh. It's really cool like how you got your outfits like this, but when you actually into a fight, the uh, the outfits change. It's really cool. Like, this game's so banging. Do it in here. So what I'm matches put my you back to the hero. Because I really did like the hero. Uh, what a cool outfit. I think. Yeah. Picture perfect. Hero Today's for hero, yeah. You know? Let's give this. You want to put you? Oh, I can be a pirate dance, but you just need your um, bonds up. But I'll keep you as that. And I think I'm gonna put you in that Yakuza Zero outfit. How's this? Maybe it's time I change style. And then just oh, say, so hard to choose. Put you back here. That's kind of cool. Uh <laughs> oh, I have a special know. outfit on. I want to wear it all. All right, so now we'll go to gear. Yeah, I think it's all good. And then when we get like some better gear and stuff, I think that'll just make life better for me. So I'm gonna go over here. What's the, uh... Oh, Little Bug. Okay, yeah, we know, we know what that quest is. We don't have to do that. Well, we need $3,000. We can't do it just yet. Oh, this camera. Off we go. Just on the wrong side of the road, but it's fine. Oh, I'll fight you guys. See you, King? Got to be taken out. As long as we can fight him, of course. Okay, I'm up. 
All right. Uh. Let's go. Come on. He's gonna attack you. The circle looks so sick, though. You die match his raise. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for the mega swing. Nice. Allow me. Uh, let's attack you. Take out the drunk dudes first. Looks like I'm up. So the circle looks so sick. Time to go all out. I'm gonna attack you. Sick. All right, now we can focus on the boss. Oh, Brian. I feel like I do need a better weapon for um, Kasuka though, because it just looks <laughs> a little flaming bit of wood with his armor just doesn't match at all. Uh, I'm gonna just that breaker. Here we go. Let's go for a tag team. Hey, you good? Okay. Take this fist. Sick. All right. Uh, then we'll go. Well, it's got a fire attribute now. I guess because the surfboard is kind of jet on the back, a little flame. I can do this. Let's go for more tanks. Go weak to electric. Here we go. What's the whole? Can block that. Let's get it done. A little bit careful because his magic's up. Follow my lead. Can go for just attacking you, Burt. Now sick. I think next round of attacks we should finish you off. Time to go all out. Okay, we got this. Okay, when you're down. Uh, one more. Oh, wait, you got another attack? Go. I was going to attack first. Ready, that finishes you off. How much experience do we get? Oh, not bad. Alright, ranks up. Ooh, Hero's Blessing. Oh, we can recruit you as well. Get that Sujimon. Give you a gift. Oh, dude, I suck at this. I feel like I just get it right, and then I don't. But we'll try this, then. Pretty really quick. I don't think we're gonna get this. There's no way. Oh, okay. Guess I'm pretty fast at pressing X. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let's get this with your Tose done. really opening up. Oh yeah, we're gonna avoid that dude, that's way too strong. Aloha. I should just uh charge it a little bit. Uh actually so we still have, still have time. I love the customization you can get. We've got nothing at the moment. Right, yeah, so we just keep following this path down. Mm, don't have nunchucks, don't have a job for that. That's 35,000! I can't wait till we start earning a lot of money. Ooh, hey, my friend. And you'd be my friend. That's my chunk. Yeah, we've got to try and like make some new stuff soon as well. Where's the nearest uh, shop? It's over there. So, well, yeah, go to Julie's in a bit. Once we finish this bit. Oh, Kazuga, you came. Should we get going? Huh. For the longest time, this place was all factories and warehouses. It was pitch dark at night and attracted a bad crowd. But then it all got redeveloped about 10 years ago. We left the wall open for artists all over the world to come and draw what they wanted. And now look. All the young folks come by to check it out.
Oh, look at all the places you can eat, too. Yeah, the eateries are a big hit with the tourists. They started popping up here as the inner city became oversaturated. Oh, please, stop! Uh, I'm begging you. This place is my livelihood. Your livelihood? Huh. Did no one tell you we're the new owners? What's wrong? Is, is there some sort of trouble? Who the hell are you? We're with Palikana, a neighborhood watch. Palikana? Oh, thank goodness. Please, you have to listen. I've been running this cafe for 30 years now, and I never once have endured such violence. Yeah, quit bitching. If you'd have paid your debt, we wouldn't be here. But I never even borrowed money from you. Oh, we know who you borrowed from. Thing is, this morning, we bought that land around. So as of now, your debt and this shithole is ours. Even so, you can't just budge in here like this. The previous lender agreed I could pay off my loan in installments. We had a deal. You're a native Hawaiian, aren't you? What difference does that make? Well, cheer up. We're turning this place into a boba shop, and your ass can run the register. The Howleys ought to eat that shit up. Now let's get renovating. That's enough! Aren't you Polycana people supposed to be volunteers? Volunteers should stay the fuck out of business. Strong-arming helpless shopkeepers is hardly what I call business. I'd like to ask you to leave, and trust me, you'll be hearing from our lawyers. Oh, yeah? How about you scram, or you'll be hearing out your asshole? I'm staying right here. Oh, you sure? Then maybe we ought to tear you up first, huh? Threaten me all you want. I'll never budge. <laughs> Get a load of tough guy here. He thinks he could stand up to us. <laughs> all right. Let's see if you're still standing after that! I don't know who you assholes think you are, but anyone who'd hurt an innocent person deserves to get shut down. What the? You another poly kind of prick? Nope. Just a heathen prick off the streets. And as far as religion goes, I admit, I don't get the appeal. But Callan, I think you guys do it right. You might even make it seem cool. Kasuka. God damn! Can a man not shake someone down in peace? Boys, we're wrecking these bastards. Oh, it's go time. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm so glad that my job class is back. All right. Oh, okay. St level 20. Ooh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, what should we do? Oh, you'll be to electric. Let's hit you into Kazuga. Yeah, nice. All right, not a bad start. Oh, I wish I was fully healed for this, I'll be honest. Uh, right, I have the healing circle I can go for. If I, get, if I can get Kiryu in there. Oh, he's just walked in. Nice. I should heal everyone. All right, nice. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, next up, we will go dagger, and we'll get you to get these two. We can make you bleed. And they're bleeding, nice. Okay, uh, next up, probably should heal some more. Actually, no, we're fine for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna hit... Oh, they're weak to water. Okay, that's good to know. I can, I can hit two of them. I actually love that. We've got all three. Sick. I can do this. All right, it's not gonna Kazuga. Oh, okay. Counter me there. Okay, chill, man. Oh, I hate some of the attacks. That's so hard to block. All right, uh, I'm gonna. Try and take out. If I oh, this is Mega Swing. 
and take out these two of them. Got no choice. I'll try and knock you into you. And now we sort of deal with you, which should be fine because you're weak to water. Okay, in a defensive stance. Ah! Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. Right, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna make everyone just fight the boss, it'll be so much easier. Oh, that's good. Alright, that uh, should finish you off. Okay. We'll go for a tag team attack on uh, the boss after. Yeah. Sit down, boy. Use that chair. Alright, so next up, I think. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go for a tag. I haven't got anything to really go for. Nice. We got the burn at least. All right, let's go tag team attack. Not bad. Got a little hit rates up as well. Just a nice little punch. Uh, okay, so that's a grapple, but I don't want to send you far. Oh, that does a bit of damage as well. Ooh. Okay, we'll try and take you out now. You're getting too strong. I'm gonna heal up actually. We're very weak. Here I come. Got it. Let's get it done. And we've just got the tanks with no MP. This dude is feeling so tough. I was like, Jin is such a cool name though. But I saw like every person in a video game called Jin. Always really cool. There you go. Finally won. That was tough. That was really level was nice. Think I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Doing learning more every day. Ooh, essence of soy Hey! Who knew I had it in me? Inca to the blink. <laughs> I think I'm getting better at this. Fucking son of a Look what you done to my shop! Whoa! That does it! You should have listened while you had the chance! <laughs> Don't do it! Eat lead! Huh? What's wrong? Goddamn trigger stuck! The hell? Is it jammed? Uh, shit! Cease this at once. Madam Nele, you see, forbids the use of fire in human conflicts. Oh. Who the fuck are you? Now, be good and hand me the gun. Attempting to shoot will only make things worse for you. Get the hell away from me! <laughs> what did you just do? Such a pity. Allow me to tend to your wounds. Get the fuck away! He's a monster! I swear he's a goddamn monster! <laughs> that had to be a miracle. And I got to bear witness. Bryce truly is blessed by the goddess. Who's this dude? The sage of Polycana I mentioned. That's Bryce Fairchild himself. So that's him. A miracle! Good grace is a miracle! Rejoice, for Madame Nele has extended her divine protection to you and your establishment. Madame Nele, mahalo yo oi! <laughs> and you, my child, I trust that you're unharmed.
What a fascinating story. Now I see why you're all eager to find Akane. For one reason or another. Yeah. We came by because we heard she was the director here. And that's what makes her disappearance all the more concerning. Without her guidance, I fear this orphanage might have closed its doors long ago. That's why I visit as often as I can, to see how things have developed. I was wondering something. Why did Kane-san join Polykana in the first place? I believe she left Japan because living there became untenable, one way or another. So, she came to Hawaii to get back in touch with her roots. Right. Captain Sawashiro did mention that. However, she found no support from her relatives. That's when Palakana reached out to her. Shortly after, she was welcomed into the faith. Since then, she's been a model believer. Never have I witnessed such pure, unwavering faith in all my years. Then, was she chosen to be a Haku? Ah, I'm impressed you know that much about us. I did mention to her that she would be the perfect Haku candidate. But you know what she said? She said she'd rather stay at the orphanage until it's her time to go. <sighs> Father Rice, guess what? I helped make dinner this evening. You did? Then I suppose it's time to dig in. How much would you like? Well, I'm supposed to be on a diet, but today's special. One big helping, please. Yes, sir. Ichiban, if you do find out where Akane is, please let me know as soon as possible. Sure thing. But aren't you usually hanging out on Nele Island? I am, but you can let the staff here know, so they can get in touch. All right. Well, think we ought to get going? I think so. Oh, won't you stay and eat with us? It's almost dinner time. You sure? I mean, I am pretty famished. What about you guys? Good idea. That's very kind of you. It's the least I could do. Kasuga, everyone, it's been a pleasure talking with you this evening. Likewise. To know Akane-san found a good place where she belonged, I'm nothing but happy for her. Yes, I'm convinced she felt the same. Hey, where'd Chichan run off to? Chitose! You. It's dinner time. She's not over here, if you're wondering. Yeah, I've been sticking with Ichiban this whole time. Actually, it turned out all right. If anything, that helped me earn their trust even more, so... <sighs> hey! Chichan! Where you at? I get that. Look, I gotta go. I'm right oh. here, silly. <laughs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> what are we having? No, I don't want Chitose to betray us, man. Oh, that sucks. But that's the end of uh, chapter five. All right, so chapter six, puppet on a string. Is there some reason I have to go outside every time we do this? It's the best safeguard against wiretapping. Well... So Akane-san was the director of a Polykana orphanage. Everyone in the organization seemed to know her. Yes. And even the sage himself is concerned for her safety. Interesting. It seems your investigation's going well. If you've got something to say, then say it. Whatever you do, 
you reported to me. Don't think I didn't hear about your little tussle with the Barracudas. If you already know, then why do I need to report? You might want to rethink your situation a bit. Maybe you don't fear anything, seeing as your days are numbered. But you're a spider hanging by a single thread. Steer clear of the flames below. I'll be more careful. <laughs> Continue tracking the subject then. After all, you've got a lot riding on this. Uh, also... What? You're not done lecturing? I was going to ask if you did what you came to do. The woman you loved. Yumi-san, was it? I understand her dream was to get married in Hawaii. So you wanted to at least take her ring to the place she longed for. That's why you accepted this mission in the first place. Yeah. Then, with that out of the way, let's try to focus on the mission, shall we? I certainly hope you can. Sorry for the wait. What did they say? The Daidoji faction. They called, right? Seems like we're the closest to Akane-san. They had no other info on their end. The plan stays the same. We find Akane-san before anyone else, and we protect her. Gotcha. So, no clues from them, then? Nope. All they could do was tell me to stay in line. I'm sure. It's not like you're the easiest guy to keep tabs on. Dumbass? What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You really don't think so? He'd be a good boss, at least. Hey, take it easy, you two. You might hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, you look real hurt, Kiryu-san. Do I? Hi. So it's gone late. Ready to call it a night? Uh, not no. just yet a couple of things which is wrap this episode up because we've been going for a while but uh yeah next episode we uh i guess we start fresh and go and um look for a kind of sun tomorrow all right guys watching i'll catch you guys next time have a great day peace